evening, ma'am. Can I offer you something to snack on? I've noticed both you and your husband had nothing to eat. Oh, no, thank you. And I don't want to wake up my husband. He's just had a really long week. Uh, I'm not hungry, but I am cold, though. Can I please get another blanket? Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Are you sure maybe you want something warm to drink? I'm actually okay, but could you grab a green tea with milk and sugar for my husband when he wakes up, though? Certainly, of course. Hey, just so you know, the passengers in 12 A and B had nothing to eat or drink this entire time. Oh, that gentleman? Yeah, the purchase said not to wake him. Oh, really? Okay, well, the wife, though, is awake and she hasn't had anything to eat either. Oh, someone was sitting next to him? I didn't notice. Yeah, the lady next to him is his wife. You're finally awake. Your wife actually asked me to bring you that green tea. What do you mean, my wife? Your wife? Uh, I guess she went to the lavatories. Did you put milk and sugar in my green tea? Yes, I'm sorry, is that incorrect? Uh, your wife is the one that told me to do that for you. My wife passed away last week. I'm taking her home on this flight. I'm sorry, uh, there, there was a lady that was sitting next to you. She said she was your wife and not to wake you up because you had a long week and to bring you a green tea when you do wake up and she was cold, she was chilly. So I gave her a blanket. She's in cargo, but I believe you. This is how I drink my green tea. And I, I think she's just worried about me. That's so sweet. So sweet. Any trash? Yeah, my ex-boyfriend. Can I get you anything? A million dollars. your flight so far? Shaky, like my relationship. You have any dietary restrictions? I'm allergic to everything but first class food. Would you like any headphones? How did you know my name was Phones? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the f***, man? Uh, French fry Giselle. What are you doing on there? What's on your menu board? French fries? 손님, 죄송한데 우리 그런 거 여기 없어요. You have to have French fries. It's McDonald's. It's universal. Yeah. 뭐가 이렇게 오래 걸려? This McDonald's doesn't have any French fries. French fry. Stop! I don't think my wife came on board. She's not in her seat. What do you mean, sir? We got into a fight at the airport and then she just walked off and I thought she boarded the plane, but she's not in her seat. I'm sure she's on board, sir. The ground staff has confirmed everyone is on board. Have you checked the toilets by any chance? I did! I looked everywhere and she's not on the airplane! Please, don't take off! Don't worry, sir. We won't until we locate your wife. Hey, what's going on? He says his wife is missing. He thinks she didn't board the plane. What? Oh, she's on board for sure. There's no missing passengers. Can you just let the captain know about the situation and I'll just do a PA, okay? Oh my gosh, okay! Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking for a passenger right now. Could Anita Cox please make yourself known to cabin crew? Anita Cox, thank you. Excuse me, it's been like two hours. I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. This is all my fault. I should've just bought her the bag she wanted. Sir, the captain told us that we cannot delay this flight any longer. We have double checked to make sure that she is on this flight. Her ticket has been scanned, so she's definitely on here. Unfortunately, we will be offloading her luggages. Would you like for us to offload your luggage as well? Offload my luggage too, please. Certainly, sir. What we need to do now is actually check every single person's boarding pass just to double check again. Dude, leave her! Ma'am, as you heard from the announcement, we are looking for a missing passenger. May I please check your boarding pass? Ma'am, we've been looking for you for the last two hours. Didn't you hear the public announcement? Your husband is very worried about you. So? I didn't want to talk to him. Ma'am, you've delayed this aircraft for two hours. Many of these passengers will miss their connecting flights because of you. So? That's not my problem. You know what? You're right. You shouldn't be our problem either. Ah! Hell, death do us part, baby! Reasons airlines can deny you boarding. While boarding, if flight attendants sense that you might be a little sick and about to puke, they can deny you boarding. I know some of 
you like to before a flight, but just remember, if you look way too drunk, we can deny you boarding. I don't know why you would do this, but people do. If you come barefoot, we can deny you boarding. For our larger passengers, if you cannot safely put on your seatbelt with a seatbelt extender, the flight attendants can deny you boarding. If you look really pregnant, like really, really, and you don't have a doctor's note, to prove how many weeks you are or if you can fly, they may deny you boarding. Before flight, it might be wise for you to get a family or friend to sniff you because if you have bad body odor, we can deny you boarding. Speaking of bad smells, if you're bringing in something as well that stinks, well, we can also deny you boarding for that as well. Some airlines kind of like have a dress code but no dress code. Clearly, if you're naked, you're not getting on. But some airlines will actually deny you boarding if you're wearing a little bit something too sexy. Also, I kind of like this one, but lastly, do you just have a bad attitude problem? So if you're kind of an a-hole, we can deny you boarding. So be kind, everyone. Bye. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I mean, if you just want to tell me what you're looking for, I can help you find- Please don't touch anything. Sorry. Do you have an electric toothbrush anywhere? No. An electric shaver, perhaps? No. Maybe a microphone? No. Immersion blender? I don't even know what that is. Or maybe a remote control car, but instead of a car, it's an eggplant? Huh? Do you have any battery-operated device? Oh, yeah, if you open up that little pouch, I have my vibrator. <laughs> Ma'am, that is illegal in our country. Excuse me, what? Please go see that officer over there. Am I going to jail? Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, hmm. Hmm. I mean, if you just want to tell me what you're looking for, I can help you find- Please don't touch anything. Sorry. Sorry. Do you have an electric toothbrush anywhere? No. An electric shaver, perhaps? No. Maybe a microphone? N no. Immersion blender? I don't even know what that is. Or maybe a remote control car, but instead of a car, it's an eggplant? Huh? Do you have any battery-operated device? Oh, yeah, if you open up that little pouch, I have my vibrator. <laughs> Ma'am, that is illegal in our country. Excuse me, what? Please go see that officer over there. Am I going to jail? All right, who ate my sandwich? It was right here. Are you eating my sandwich? I'm chewing gum. Oh, then it was you. What? Well, you just came back from break and you were the only one back here, so it had to be you. No, I was back here because the passenger asked me for something. Oh, okay, sorry. Are you eating my sandwich? Does this look like your sandwich? Yeah, my bad. I don't think anyone here ate your sandwich. Oh, thank God, because I just found that sandwich underneath the cruise seat and I swear I saw mold growing. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm missing a container of food from my bag. Oh, yes, it's right here. Unfortunately, it didn't pass inspection. It's just homemade banana bread my mom made me. What's wrong with it? It didn't pass the security checks we're required to do. I flew with this banana bread several times before, so why can't I bring it on now? You just can't. Okay, well then can I just put it in my check-in bag? I'm sorry, ma'am. I swabbed it and it didn't pass the check, so you can't put it in check-in either. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Just keep the banana bread. I need to catch my flight. Have a safe flight. Sorry, I forgot my phone. Excuse me? Yes, how can I help you? What happens if you lose your luggage? Oh no, did you lose your luggage? So I have a connecting flight from Sydney to Toronto to Vancouver. And you see, I'm the maid of honor at my best friend's wedding. And I have her custom made dress in my luggage. And she needs to get that. So what do I do if I lose my luggage? Oh my God, let me try to help you. Do you have your boarding pass and your luggage claim ticket? Yes, I have it right here. Great, I'm going to do everything I can to help you, okay? I'll be right back. Thank you. Hey, can you help me? So this passenger lost her luggage and it's really, really important that we find it for her. Can you please help me find it? Oh my God, of course, of course I'll check for you. Hold on a second. Oh, 
It says that her luggage is on this flight. What? Really? You sure? Okay, well, I'll let the passenger know then. Ma'am, uh, so I checked on your luggage and it actually says that your luggage is on this flight in cargo? I know. Then why did you say you lost it? I didn't say I lost my luggage. I said what happened if I lost my luggage? How can I assist you today? Hi, we would like two tickets to Hawaii, please. And do we want a discount? Ma, you can't haggle the price of a plane ticket. She's right, ma'am. The prices are fixed. Everything is negotiable. Maybe family discount? I'm afraid I can't adjust the price, ma'am. Ma, let's just pay and go. I want to speak to your manager, please. As my team member mentioned, we don't offer discounts on plane tickets. No problem. I like to speak to your boss. No, this isn't a market. Ma'am, I assure you, there are no discounts available for plane tickets. I need to speak to highest person line now. Ma, please. How did you get my number? Okay, so you give me discount or no? You know, I like your determination. We could use someone like you. How about you come work for me? If you give me discount, you got a deal. Well, if you work for me, you get free flights. Okay, Jeannie, our flight is a free. Excuse me, our tickets to say standby. Oh, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, this is a full flight and I can see that everyone has checked in. So you'll need to wait for the next flight. No, please. That's very important to my mom. Very sick. I have to go. I'm so sorry. The only way you're going to make this flight is if two people don't make this flight within the next five minutes. <sighs> Okay, are you wait to hear? Mama, I need to go to the bathroom. And remember, we are at the gate to 21. Okay. <sighs> oh my god, Peter! Hurry up! I think gate 21 is that way! Uh, gate 21 is that, that way! You're in the wrong terminal. You have to take the train. Oh, thank you so much, sweetie! Peter! Go back! It's that way! That way! Excuse me, this must be your lucky day because two people didn't make it for some reason. So here are your boarding passes and you can board the plane now. Wow, we are so lucky. Yeah, we so lucky. Ma, this is my friend Hannah. Hi, it's so nice to finally meet you. Oh, hi Hannah, nice to meet you. Hey, just wait here for a sec, I'll be right back. Okay, no worries, I'll just hang with your mom for a bit. Oh, Hannah, where are you from? Vancouver. What is your job? I'm a hairstylist. Where are your parents from? They live in Dallas, Texas. What is their job? My mom's a teacher and my dad's an engineer. Hmm. Do you like a kimchi? I, I, I love kimchi. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Oh, my nephew, he's single too. You want to meet him? Uh, excuse me? Hi, how can I help you? I don't like people sitting next to me, so you need to move me. Unfortunately, ma'am, this is a full flight, so you will be sitting next to people. I don't understand. This plane has hundreds of seats. I can explain it to you again, but I can't understand it for you. Full flight means there are no empty seats available. Do you think I'm stupid or something? There's one right there. You're not stupid, ma'am. I am for thinking you're intelligent. That is a jump seat and only cabin crew can sit in those seats. Are you blind? There's no one in there right now. That's because that is my seat and I'm standing here talking to you right now. Okay, so since it's empty now, I can sit there. I can tell intelligent thoughts have always followed you, but you were always faster. Thank you. Hi ma'am, I'll need to inspect your bag. Oh, be careful, it might explode. Excuse me? No, no, she said explode because her bag is so full it might explode, you know? Mm-hmm, and what's this? Uh, just in case, uh, you know, she might blow up the plane. You plan to blow up the plane? No, 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 it's air freshener, unwrap it! She said blow up because, you know, I have IPS. Uh-huh, either way, she cannot take this on the plane because it's over the liquid limit, okay? Jack, can you come get this, please? Hi, Jack. What did you just say? Oh, ma! Oh, oh my god, the chest. This my jacket. The chest shirts. Oh my god, sir, what's wrong? I think I think a heart attack. Is there a medical professional on board? Get over here. I head for you. Is that Tiger Bomb? Hmm. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Is there an actual doctor on board? Oh my god. You saved my life! You're baby welcome! Excuse me, would it be okay if I got the window seat? No, sorry, this is my seat. I mean, what if you have to pee? It'll be easier for you to get out. It's okay, I have a strong bladder. You know, if there was an emergency, you would get off faster on this seat. I'll risk it. Oh, come on, you're not even looking out 
outside. What's the point of sitting in that seat if you're not going to look outside? Because there's nothing to see. We're in the sky. You know, I heard that window seat passengers have a higher risk of skin cancer because of the sun's UV rays. Why do you want it? Because I'm wearing SPF 1000. Are you? <clears throat> okay, fine. Let's switch. <laughs> yes, thank you. Hey. Your, your screen's not working. Your seat, your problem, not mine. Oh, excuse me, Miss Flight Attendant. My screen is broken. Oh, I'm so sorry. The only available seats are left in first class. Did you want to move there? Uh, yeah, I would love to. <laughs> excuse me, is this a toilet? No, the door next to it, on the left. This one? The, the door to the left. This one? Right next to it. You're almost there. Just, just scoot to the left. This one? Yes. No, no, wrong door. No, left. Left. Here? Yes. The door to the left. Okay, now just push. No. No, push. Push. Just push. Push. Yeah. Yeah, push. 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 Oh, push. Hey, you got it. Excuse me, is this the toilet? Hi, may I get some tea, please? Sure thing. Sabrina Carpenter is in first class. Who? You know. I'm working late, cause I'm a singer. Excuse me, can I get some hot tea, please? I just saw 25A go in the lavatory with 30C. Aren't you supposed to do something when two people are in the bathroom? Eh. Excuse me, I still didn't get my tea. I ordered extra hot tea. Oh, extra hot tea. Our pilot Tony has a wife back home and he's freaking out because his girlfriend is on this flight and she has no idea. My boyfriend has a wife? Hi, I'm just getting this one lipstick, thank you. Wonderful. Oh, are, are those free samples? Can I get some? Sort of. You collect points for every purchase and you redeem the points to get these free samples. Oh, okay. Well, I've spent a lot, so maybe I have enough points. Let me just check your balance here. Oh, you're almost there. Okay, well, how much more do I need to spend? Just $2,000 more. $2,000? Oh, just the one, thank you. Great choice. These are also some new products that you should definitely try. Uh, I'm just gonna add the most popular products from our store. Uh, and because you got this specific brand, we're gonna give you these as well. Uh, I love these. I'm just gonna give it to you. Okay, sure. And of course, face masks, you know. I'm sorry, how much is all this gonna cost me? Honey, services. Services. Oh, excuse me, can we get headphones, please? Of course, it's $5 each, so that'll be $10. For headphones? It's okay, then. Where did you get pizza? Oh, how about Bonnie's hair? Ah, 네. 지금은 미국에서 사는데요. 부산에서 태어났어요. 어머, 제 가족도 부산에서 사는데. 잠깐만요. 서비스를 줄게요. Oh, 감사합니다. And here's one for you too, ma'am. No, 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 it's okay. I don't want to pay. No, it's on me. Oh. Thank you. Queen of Tears has a whole in charm. I must say, oh my god, I'll talk to you both in a bit. What was that? The Korean card. The what? Chagyo, business class, eh? Chariga in the day. Hokshi, Kogilo, Umiki, Kuchipaya. Oh, there, comes up with that. What's going on? Chichingo, Nunya, Kachio, say, what are we doing here? We got upgraded. No way. Comes up. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am, how can I help you? I paid a lot of money to fly first class, so what's with all the shaking? I'm sorry, ma'am. Regardless of the cabin that you're sitting in, there's nothing we can do about the turbulence. I sit in the front part of the plane for a premium experience. I shouldn't have to feel a thing. I see. Well, what do you propose we do about the turbulence, ma'am? Tell your captain to fly the plane in a way that only the back can feel it. You want us to transfer the turbulence to the back of the plane? I don't care how you do it, just stop the turbulence. Certainly, ma'am, I know how to fix the situation. Ah! Thank you for flying with us. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Oh, my Uber is here. For Michelle? Yes, that's me. Hey, weren't you my flight attendant? Yeah. Just finished my shift, so uh, your destination is 124 Rainbow Avenue? Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool, hold on. 
I have an Amazon package for you. You also do deliveries? Yep. Oh, my boss sent me cookies. flight attendant. Why? They're like servants in the sky. All they do is serve you drinks and snacks. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Help! My friend is choking! <gasps> would you like any drinks or snacks? She needs help! I can see that. So a drink then? <laughs> no! And do you smell smoke? There is a fire on the plane! What do we do? Oh! Do you need drinks or snacks? No, we need you to do something about the fire! So, you want me to put it out with the drinks? What? My mask isn't working! I can't breathe! Oh. So, no snacks then? I can't breathe! Sorry, I'm just trying to serve drinks and snacks, just like you said. I'm so sorry, I was wrong! Please help me! Help me! Apology accepted! You just need to pull the string. Thank you! You're welcome! Okay, but seriously, do you want any drinks or snacks? Hello, welcome! Uh, you wear no clothes? What? Why are you naked? It's cold on the plane here! Blanket, you take! Oh, thank you! Okay, everyone, please wear your seatbelt to pull your safety! Wear your seatbelt! You know what, those rich kids? Sir, wear your seatbelt, please! Thank you very much! Some of them, but like... Who's me, sir? But I need to man! Oh, I'm sorry, sorry! Thank you very much, thank you. May I have some chips, please? Of course, but uh, don't slouch, okay? Up, up, and don't eat the chips. Bad for you, I'll give you kim. Thank you. What the? Everybody, no more TV. Bad for your eyes, read a book. But I don't have a book. There's nothing to read here. There'll be safety manual right there so you know what to do. Thank you very much for flying and uh, oh, take a leftover. We don't waste the food. Oh, thank you so much. And don't forget to call your mom. Tell her you love her. I can help who's next. Hello, we're here to check in our bag of pleats. Certainly, and I'm just going to verify your information here. Where are you headed? Oh, we visiting my niece in Missouri uh, because she gone to Korea for college and she returned. Oh, how nice. Well, here is your boarding pass. Have a wonderful flight. Thank you very much. Gotcha. Oh, your kid is adorable. Are you going to do anything fun on your trip? I think so. We're going to see my cousin in misery because she has gonorrhea from college. Excuse me, may I? Guys, I went on my first date and he already asked me to marry him. <coughs> but we have to get married within the month because if we don't, he's gonna get kicked out of the country. I can't let that happen. Oh, must be nice because my last date had a secret family in Florida and the wife showed up on my date. Oh, that's pretty bad. Uh, excuse me, hello. You guys think that's bad? I just found out my ex is actually my cousin on my stepdad's side. <gasps> yeah, I know. And, uh, oh, hi, did you need something? Oh, yeah, uh, honestly, I forgot, but wow, it must be so much fun to get to work with all of your best friends and talk about this stuff. Oh no, we all just met today. Huh? I love my seat. I have so much space to stretch. Ugh, oh, I love my seat. I can sleep against the wall. This seat sucks. This is so cool. I can see what other people are watching. I can see everything. It's beautiful. This seat sucks. I can pee whenever I want without bothering anyone. I have the power to control light. This seat sucks. 
Welcome to the husband store. May I help you find anything in particular? I'm uh, looking for a husband. Well, you've come to the right place. Let me explain to you how our store works. We have six floors in total, and as you move up on each floor, it increases in value. You may start on the first floor and move your way up. The rules are you can only pick one husband. If you go up a floor, you cannot go back down. So are you ready to find your husband? Yeah, I'm ready. Great, let's start with floor one. Hi. I have a job. Oh, that's a great start, but I think I'm going to need more than that. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to floor two. I have a job and I do housework without you asking me. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, but I still think we can do better. I hope you have better luck with floor three. I have a job, I do housework, and I know you're always right. I am? I mean, Damn straight I am! I think we're getting close! I'm glad we're getting close. Welcome to floor four. I have a job. I do housework. You'll always be right. And I built an animal sanctuary so I can save animals. <gasps> oh my god. He's so hot. <gasps> you're almost perfect. I think you're going to be happy with floor number five. I have a job. I do housework. You'll always be right. I rescue animals. And you know that special happy place on a woman's body that men can't seem to find? I know where that is. Oh! oh. He's perfect! Fantastic! We found your husband! Yeah, but I'm still gonna go to the sixth floor. Are you sure? You said he was perfect. I know, I know. He's perfect, but there's another floor I just have to know. Okay, well, that's your life, so welcome to final floor number six. Husband, wife is here. Hmm? Hello? Hello? There's no one in here. You are one of 3.95 billion women that have ended up on this floor. There are no men on this floor. This floor solely exists to prove that women are impossible to please. Excuse me, ma'am. You're sitting in an emergency exit row. So in case of an emergency, are you willing to assist us? What do I have to do? In the unlikely event, we need to evacuate. You need to open the emergency exit door and I'll show you how to do that. What if I don't want to? What do you mean? I don't want to do that. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll just need to switch you with someone else then that's willing to assist me. No, I paid for this seat. This is my seat. Yes, but there's also requirements for those sitting in these seats to assist during an emergency. I don't care. Well, we need to care because it's going to save everyone's life. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're being a big meanie head and I hate you. Okay, I wasn't trying to be mean, but... I don't care. I don't want to do it. That'll sound fun. Fun? Well, you know what's fun? If you open the emergency doors, you get to go down the inflatable slide. There's a slide? Yeah! Why didn't you say that earlier? Of course I'll help. Sorry, but I will need to charge you for being overweight. How dare you? That is so effing rude. Like when did airlines start discriminating against people's sizes? What is your problem? You guys are not charging for everything. And I swear, this is just holiday weight. I, and I didn't mean to eat all the churros. They were just right in front of me. I'm just trying to have a hot girl summer. I'm trying my best. I, you know what? This is so unfair. Let me talk to your supervisor. I meant your luggage. Oh. Do you take Visa? Amma, can I just go to my friend's house for dinner? I'll be back by nine. Amma, I didn't do any of my homework and so I'm gonna go hang out with my friends and do drugs, okay? Huh? You crazy! You need to study! You grounded! What? Amma, can we order pizza? Amma, I hate your food and I don't love you anymore. You don't love me anymore? Huh? Amma, can I go to the movies with John? Amma, I'm gonna go meet up with a boy to get pregnant. You too young to get pregnant! What? Amma, it's okay, he's gay. Oh, you're gay? I didn't know. Huh? Hello, I'm here to check in for my flight. Hello, welcome. And uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Your flight has been canceled. No, 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 no. I need to see my family. I understand, ma'am. But don't worry. We're going to make it up to you. Here is a free airline branded pen. Huh? Seriously, you're going to like this pen. It writes in three colors. Oh, I guess uh, this is a good pen. That's not all. How about I upgrade you to premium economy on your next flight? Premium uh, 
what what's that? More leg room. A whole zero point five inches more. Ooh, bigger than my husband. Also, for the inconvenience, here is a twenty dollar airport voucher that you can use for anything at the airport. You can even get a bottle of water, the branded kind like Fiji. Pretty money. Whoa, whoa. Nobody care about Pemily anyway. So glad you're happy, ma'am. Thank you so much for your understanding. No, thank you. Sucker. Sucker. Hi, would you like any snacks? Can I have cookie, please? Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Can I get some more? Sorry, sweetie. I need to pass it out to the rest of the passengers first, okay? Why? Because if we don't feed everyone, they're going to get mad at me. Why? Because making people happy makes me feel good. Why? Because I'm a people pleaser. Why? Because, I don't know, I have a constant need for approval. Why? Because I grew up in a house where nothing I ever did was good enough. Why? Because life is complicated and messy, and I don't even know how I'm holding it together right now. Why? Because I'm 40 years old, and I'm living paycheck to paycheck, and I just found out my boyfriend's cheating on me, and all my friends have moved away because they got kids, and I don't see them. I have no friends. My best friend's my dog. <laughs> I gotta die alone. So, what are you? I'm a flight attendant. No, I mean, where are you from? I'm from Canada. No, where were you born? Canada. No, like, where were your parents born? Also Canada. Okay, no, uh, where were your parents' parents born? Oh, I see what's going on here. You want to know my ethnicity. I'm Korean. Oh! Sarang <gasps> hey yo! Me too! Ma, you didn't leave water in your bag again, right? Aneso. Ma'am, I'm going to need to inspect your luggage. No problem. What is this? That's my cutter. You know, blade the very sharp. You know, careful, it'll cut you. No, 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 she means a razor. You know, for shaving. No sharp items are allowed in your carry-on, so I'm going to need to take this. And what is this? White powder give me energy, make me strong and best. <laughs> That's just pre-workout, you know, she's been working out a lot. I'm gonna need to run some tests on this. <laughs> and what is this? Oh, that's a bomb. Oh, uh, go boom on plane, so in plastic. <laughs> Everyone, there's a bomb! Step back, step back! She means skin bomb, you know? It's dry skin. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to step aside for additional screaming. I keep a pull you. Thank you. I save a pull your college. I give to you when you go college. Oh man, I made it into college. Can I get my college fund now? Oh. Yogi. What's this? Your college fund. Excuse me? Yes, how can I help you? Um can I get headphones, please? Of course, here you go. Um, thank you. Did you need anything else? No. By the way, I noticed that your TV screen is not working and the only available seat is in first class, so did you want to move up there? Uh. I love you. Oh, um. Thank you. Yes! What can I get for you today? Hi, can I get a green tea, please? Sure, that'll be $25. 25 bucks? That's crazy! Do you have something that's like under five bucks? Uh, you can get a hot water. There's a charge for hot water. No, the water's free. You just have to pay for the cup. water please here you go thanks are you done with that uh yeah sure thanks so much <laughs> you know tough times oh yeah i know i took it from him <phone rings> oh great sitting next to a kid this is the worst 
이 사람한테 귀찮게 하지 마. Okay, Emma. This is American Airlines. Speak English. How do I know you're not insulting me? Oh, sorry. Uh, no good English. Maybe you should just go back to your country then. Back to Canada? 괜찮아. 못된 사람들은 어쩔 수 없어. Oh, excuse me. I found your passport. Ugh. You made it all sticky. Sorry. Passport. Here you go. Sorry, I can't let you through. This passport has been tampered with. What? <gasps> oh my God, what happened? Oh, he's been in a coma for 40 years. Oh. Not looking good. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Welcome aboard, ma'am. Oh, Ooh. let me help you with that. Oh, Here. Thank you, honey. Here we go. How's your day so far? It's okay. Oh, great. Is you okay? We have now arrived in Los Angeles. Those that need special assistance, please remain on board. Uh, excuse me, don't we get off first? No, ma'am, you get off last. Yes. What? Stop faking it. This is bad karma. What was that? <gasps> I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, that's so it's unbelievable. I'm suing you. I've been here for my lawyer. Do you ever get told if you look like a celebrity? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I do. I do too, all the time on the plane. Huh? Who is it? I don't know, just MGK's wife. Megan Fox? You're telling me you look like Megan Fox. Yeah, I mean, I don't see it, but we both have dark hair and light eyes. Will you marry me? Really? Yes, I will. I love you. I think it's time that we put down the business seat dividers so we can see each other. Okay, I love you. country i'm allowed to take pictures what country we're in the air well if we're in the air there's no laws now is there actually it's in your terms and conditions what you're not allowed to take photos of cabin crew or the aircraft without our consent show me the photo right now or i'm gonna have the police deal with you when we land oh my god i'm so sorry i don't want to get in trouble please here oh, i knew it oh i can't believe this how dare you ready ready for Retake it! That is my bad side! Uh, okay, Sh sure. Object this. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Slay, approved. Ginny, panmogoro neroe! Okay! Ginny, your boot is getting cold! Coming! Ginny, the chicken and the woman, you're grounded! Working. Oh, why is it our neighbor here? Excuse me, your Wi-Fi broken. I think you're in my seat. Do you mind switching seats with my wife? We're on our honeymoon and we want to sit together. So, so that's more... Okay, where's your wife's seat? That's my seat, thank you. That's an economy. No, I paid for business. Wow, we're on a honeymoon? Can't you show some kindness? Can I please have my seat? What seems to be the problem here? This guy said he was going to switch seats and now he's taking it back. I never said I was going to switch. He said he would switch with me. I actually took a look into your ticket and found out that you got a free upgrade. And now you're trying to steal this passenger's seat. So I'm going to give you two options. One, both of you go to economy. Or two, get off this flight. Rather, on your own or through security. No, we're not moving. Security! Can't do this, I'm gonna steal! Have a nice day! Sweetheart, uh, you shouldn't be here. Where are your parents? Annyeonghaseyo, <gasps> pretty lady. Pretty. Oh, oh, you're so sweet! Oh, you want snacks? Take whatever you want and let's go find your parents. 
Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry, I found your daughter over in first class and I gave her some snacks. I hope that's okay. Omo, thank you, Betty Machi. Miss, I think you're in my seat. Oh yes, uh, I need the extra leg space because of a medical condition. Do you mind sitting in my seat, 30B? I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm actually traveling with my family and we reserve the seat. I have a medical condition, I need the seat. Sir, I need you to keep moving. You're holding up the boarding process. I'm so sorry, but this lady's in my seat. Ma'am, can you please go back to your assigned seat? I will help you after. You want me to be in pain for the entire flight? You know what, it's okay, it's okay. I I'll go sit in your seat. Sir, that was really sweet of you. You know you didn't have to do that, right? Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Here, enjoy these first class goodies. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Could I get one of those snacks? No. Hi, can I get a sandwich, please? That'll be $10, please. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, can I help you with anything? Oh, no, I'm just waiting for the toilet. Just let me know if you need anything, okay? Oh, that's so sweet. I'm actually crew. Don't worry about it. Wait, your crew? Did you pay for lunch? Yeah, I had the sandwich. It was pretty good. No, mm -mm. no, you do not pay on my flight, okay? Here, here's ten dollars. <gasps> Thank you so much. <laughs> Whoa, oh ma, where are you going? You're looking sexy today. Morago? I said you look sexy. <laughs> no, it's good. Sexy, sexy. Hmm? Sexy. Ooh. Hi, what can I get for you today? Yes, I would like to have your most expensive champagne and only one glass. All right, and for your father? This is not, this is not my father. I'm so sorry, I assumed he's your father because I heard you call him dad. Oh. <clears throat> In that case, uh, what will the gentleman have? For him, just the bill. stuck right now so uh, I'll get back to you. Hey! I'm on a call! Oh! No! Ah! Stop! Oh. No! Wait! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh no sweetie put your shoes back on it's so dirty. No it's only dirty outside. I know this looks like inside but we're actually out Huh? I don't get it. Well, you have to wear shoes outside, right? Yeah, cause doggy pee pee poo poo on the floor. Well, people pee pee poo poo on the floor on the plane. Ni yeah. hao. 안녕하세요. I'm Korean. That's how you say hello. Ni hao is Mandarin. I'm Korean, so it's 안녕하세요. Whatever, lady. Ni hao. Oh, you were making fun of me! <laughs> that was a good one. That was funny. Ah! Ah! Can I please get a diaper for my baby? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have diapers on board. You have no diapers? What am I going to do? Um, well, I see another family over there with a baby. I can ask them for you. Maybe they can spare one. You know what? Forget it. I'll figure it out, okay? Can I just get the baby formula now so I can feed my baby? He's getting really hungry. Oh, we, we don't carry baby formula. What? It says meals are included in this flight. Yes, uh, regular meals. What am I supposed to do now? I think we're over at Walmart right now. I can drop you off. How I calculate the best seat in economy. Let's go! The first elimination should be a no-brainer. The middle seats suck. So let's get rid of all the middle seats. The back rows of every section do not recline. So let's get rid of those seats. I'm not a tall person. I don't need these emergency o bulkhead seats. There's also nowhere to store your personal belongings there. They also have those flimsy TVs and tables. For those reasons, I scrapped those seats. Due to weight distribution of the plane, they always fill up the first section first before the last section, which means you have a higher chance of getting a full row or an extra seat in the back. And for those odds, I prefer the back. Seats near toilets stink like shit. I recommend a five row buffer just to be in the safe zone. So let's just eliminate those rows. The next one is personal preference. I hate asking someone else to move just so I can use a toilet. For that, I eliminate all window. Because meals are typically served front to back, you have a higher chance of getting your meal choice at the front. 
So now due to process of elimination, we now have my ideal seat choice, which is seat 49, C, D, F, or G. What would you like to eat, chicken or beef? Alrighty then, I will be right back. Hey, you're the one fluent in Korean, right? Yeah. Oh, great. We have a Korean passenger and 28C doesn't speak a word of English, okay? Can you please go there and ask her what she wants to eat? Would you like to eat chicken or beef? Chicken, please. Ooh. Amma, I'm ordering some McDonald's. You want anything? Odisa? McDonald's. You know McDonald's. We literally had it yesterday. You had a Big Mac and I had chicken nuggets. McDonald's! Ah, mola! McDonald's! Ooh! Okay, everyone, open up the show what you know. Antonio, are you eating? Yes. Who told you that you can eat in my class? Um, my stomach. Well, eating isn't allowed in my class. Um, when did my room become your class? Antonio, I said stop eating. Oh, you know what, you right. You want some? You seem a little hungry. It's like too late. You know, go to the office. The office? What they gonna do? Send me home? You know what I am going to do? What? I'm listening. Call your mom. Go right ahead. Call her. Who's this? Hey, girl, I bet you're still hungry. <laughs> I am sick. Are you okay? Oh, I just, I just have a stomachache. I, I think it was the burrito. I knew I should have had the cheese. Babe, you don't look so good. <laughs> Call for help. Excuse me, can you help us, please? Hello, what can I help you with? My insides feel like they're <laughs> Let me go get some help. We have a medical emergency, please. Is there a doctor on board? I'm a doctor. I'm just going to check your vitals, okay? <sighs> What's wrong? I'm going to need you to take your pants off. But my, my pants? You're going into labor. Lady, lady, you're psycho. I'm not pregnant. You're having a baby right now. Posh! Ah! Posh! <laughs> You had no idea you were pregnant. No, had no idea. There's something really loud in this plane and it's giving me a headache. Could you please figure out what it is? I don't know, it could be the engines or something and just do something about it. I, I could give you earplugs if you'd like. No, 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 I have my own earplugs. I can still hear it. The sound is actually the engines. Okay, so then can you tell the captain to turn it off? What are you looking at? Pay attention! <laughs> Boop. Hey, captain! So. There's a passenger complaining that the engines are too loud. Can you please turn him off? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Ah! Hello, welcome aboard. <gasps> Hi. Mom, look, it's a flight attendant. Yes, I know, sweetheart. That's why you need to study in school so you don't end up like that. She's right, sweetie. Make sure you study hard so you don't fly economy like your mom. Hi, sweetie. Yes, Amma. Hello, welcome aboard. Hi. I want to be flight attendant. You do? Yes, because flight attendant so nice and fun and pretty and funny. I have cookie for you. You're so cute. Hold on a second, okay? So we're actually overbooked in economy and we were looking for some passengers to upgrade to business. Would you like to go? <gasps> wow, thank you very much. Jinny, good job. Yeah. Hey, are you okay? Which seat was it? 
sir, you're trash. What did you say? You're trash. You can't talk to me like that. In your hand. Oh. Please wait, I'm on that flight. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. The gate is closed now. You'll need to catch the next flight. No, please, I have to be on that flight. I'm so sorry, there's nothing I can do. Oh, I swear, I have the worst luck in the world. I'm a good person. I try to do everything right, and still, the universe screws me over. You know, I even came to the airport four hours early, and security decides to detain me for no reason except for the fact they thought I was someone else, and I missed my flight, and it's not even my fault. Let me book you on to the next flight, okay? Yeah, whatever. Oh, can you make sure I get the same seat, though? I paid extra for that. 26A, it was the window and then the emergency row. Of course, your next flight is in six hours. Story time of my favorite flight experience. It happened on my very last shift ever with Emirates. It was an airport standby shift and I was secretly hoping not to get called in for a flight. But of course they called my name and I was super bummed out. She told me I was going to Johannesburg, South Africa. I've been there several times, so wasn't too excited about it. Then she smiled at me and told me to have a good time. I got confused and tried to think what was happening in Joburg at the time. And then it hit me. The 2010 World Cup was happening there. So then I'm on the flight and the purser hands the crew these. Tickets to the World Cup game, courtesy of Emirates. So when we landed in Joburg, we got decked out in World Cup gear. This was my look. Was surprised again with box seats to the game. We had the time of our lives. We partied. I got trashed. And flew back the next day most likely still drunk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was. Because I served the passengers looking like this. And that was my last flight ever as cabin crew. I am here for a free mini makeover. Sure, you can choose one service. You can do your foundation, brows, eyes, or lips. Can I do my skin, please? And we're done. Thank you. Hi, I'm here for a mini makeover for my brows. Yes, of course. Thank you. Hi, I'm here for a mini makeover for my eyes. Uh, yes, sure. Thank you. Hi, I'm here for a mini lip makeover. Okay, but do you want to take off your sunglasses? Oh, uh, no thanks. mask on yeah no thanks well um you need to keep your mask on please i can't breathe do you want me to die no of course not but hey okay, good okay uh there's a passenger that's refusing to keep her mask on what okay let me talk to her Strategy 1. Be informative. Excuse me, ma'am. Our airline policies clearly state that all passengers need to wear a face mask for the duration of the flight. Yeah, like I told your little friend earlier, I have a medical condition. I can't breathe, so I don't need to wear a mask, okay? I'm sorry to hear that. May I please see your doctor's note? I don't need a doctor to tell me I can't breathe. I'm telling you that I have difficulty breathing. When you first booked your ticket and when you checked in for this flight, you knew about our policies. You want to talk about policy? Your company made me take the, the vaccine and now the government is tracking me everywhere I go. That's what you guys made me do. And now you want me to wear a mask? That doesn't even make any sense. Nobody forced you to get the vaccine, man. We just require a mask. Especially Jeff and God knows what. See, I'm vaccinated. Uh, that's a boba stamp card. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm vaccinated, so I can't get COVID. I can't give any of you guys COVID, so just, like, leave me alone. Uh, yeah, she won't listen to me either. Guys, come on. Didn't you pay attention in training? I got this. Strategy 2, ultimate customer service. Excuse me, ma'am? Oh my god, what? I would first like to apologize that we are making you wear these masks. I know they are so uncomfortable. I, I hate them so much as well. I can barely breathe in it as well. But unfortunately, this is our company policy and we are just doing our job. And I would really appreciate it if you could just wear your mask just for the next couple hours. Can you please? No. Oh no. That didn't work. 
Ugh. Amateurs, I got it. Strategy three threat. Hey lady, put on your mask. Excuse me? I said, put on your mask now. You can't talk to me like that. You disrespect my colleagues? Absolutely I can talk to you like that. Children behave better than you. That's embarrassing. Oh, wow. And now you're comparing me to a child? Oh, that would be a compliment for you. Now put on your mask. Or what? What are you going to do? You're going to strap me to my chair? Force me to wear this mask like an animal? Yeah, I've seen YouTube. I know what you guys do. Mm -hmm. That is an option, but that seems like a lot of work for me. I'm going to give you one more opportunity to wear your mask. Eh? Off. Oh my, you took out that water from before, right? Aw, ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Not allowed. Oh. oh. What is this? Oh, that's my pee. Oh, happy pee. Make me feel very, very nice. Oh. Really? Well. They're not labeled or in its containers, so I don't know what this is. Oh, no, no, no problem. They're not drugs. Oh my, you can't say that word here. What? I said not drugs. Yeah, I'm going to get this checked. Great, now we're going to be late. Could I beat them in the way? Oh my, why would you bring that? It's not what you think. It's a massage. So it's exactly what I think it is. You use peel very nice, no stress. Face roller, it's a, it's a face roller. Interesting design I decided to go with. You get to one, I show you how to use it. Oh, Ma, please stop. I'm so sorry about this, but we've just run out of chicken, so we just have beef left. Oh, of course, always me. It's always when it's my turn. I'm so sorry, it's really hard to predict what people want, and unfortunately, everybody wanted chicken today. You need to learn how to do your job properly. Like, how is this fair? How about for the next meal service? I'll let you choose first. Is there chicken in the next meal? No, it's a different meal. Oh my god. You can have my chicken. I didn't touch it. I'll just take the beef. Sir, that's so kind of you. You didn't have to do that. Finally, one decent person on this plane. Excuse me, sir. They actually had some uh, leftover chicken in first class, so I just brought you some. Hello? Why didn't you offer that to me before? Oh, well that's because you're a bitch. What does he mean, Oma? 나쁜 사람들한테만 하는 거야. 하지 마. This is my second time asking for a refill. I just need to serve the rest of the passengers on the first drinks, and then right after I'm done, I'll bring you your refill. I don't care. Just get me my drink within the next five minutes, or I'm filing a formal complaint. Hey, lady. Travel tips you might not know about. Let's go. If you are flying within, to, or from the United States and you were involuntarily bumped off your flight due to an overbooking, don't accept the voucher! Not only are the airlines required to find your alternative flight, but depending on the length of the delay, you are entitled to cash. For domestic flights, you are entitled up to $1,350 cash based on your one-way ticket price. For international flights, the compensation is the same, but the delayed times are different. Go get that cash. Due to an overbooking, we're looking for one volunteer to take the next flight out tomorrow, and in exchange, we'll be giving you a $200 travel credit. $300. $400. $500. Hello, I'll take the next flight for $1,000 cash. $750! Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else. You see, they all got places to go, people to see. I'm alone and depressed, so I might as well make some bank out of my situation. Know what I'm saying? Fine. $1,000, travel credit, no cash. Seriously? Oh. <clears throat> and I would like a hotel because the flight is tomorrow and I need a place to stay. That's reasonable. And I would like to be upgraded to first class on my flight tomorrow. Okay. And I would like a uh, massage voucher for the stress that this flight change has caused. Don't me. push it. I'll take it. So I get this question a lot and I didn't know if I wanted to share this kind of stories on my page, but my page is all about information on cabin crew, good or bad. 
So I will share it with you guys, but just not in a funny way because someone passing away is not funny. Not a joke, okay? So here we go. Just like how births happen on board, deaths happen as well. This didn't happen to me, but it happened to a colleague of mine on Emirates. During the flight, they found one man who was kind of not moving. He was in his 20s or 30s. The crew couldn't save his life. He was gone. Nobody knew what happened. It's the captain's call to emergency land or not, and he decided to go to straight to the destination because there was nothing they could do to save him. It was a full flight, so the passengers had to sit next to a corpse. After they landed, they found out what happened to him. The passenger was a drug mule, had bags of drugs stuck in his stomach, and one of them burst and he died. Miss, I'm so sorry. This is for first class passengers only. Oh, please, no. I, I, I matched with this guy on this dating app and he's in first class. Oh, how fun. It's Jail from BTS. Oh, honey, he wouldn't be on an app like this. He's a superstar. Can you please check for me then? If he's there, I'll let you in first class and I'll shave off an eyebrow. Sprite? Good afternoon, sir. We're starting our meal service now. Would you care for something to no. drink? Get me another server. Is there a problem, sir? I refuse to be served by an Asian. I'm sorry. I'm actually in charge of this section, so it will be me serving you, sir. You can stop talking to me now because I don't understand Asian, so just get me your supervisor. Certainly, sir. Hello, you requested to speak to me? The server can't even speak English, and I need someone that can understand me. So can you just send me someone else? Sir, all of our crew speak English, and you are sitting in her section, so you will be served by her. I don't want an Asian serving me, all right? I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, sir, but uh, you're, you're Asian. What does that matter? Okay, well, your request is denied. My colleague over here will continue to serve you because this indeed is her section. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the captain to turn the plane around so we can offload you. You will further be blacklisted off this airline, so what would you like to do? Fine, I just won't eat or drink anything then. <coughs> Sir, would you like chicken or beef for your meal? Still at it? All right, all right, okay. <coughs> Sir, would you like a snack or a drink? Are you sure? Because this flight is 16 hours and if you don't... Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. <coughs> Sir, we're serving dinner now. Are you sure you don't want anything? Okay, please, at least have some water. You're, you're looking a little bit... Uh, oh, okay, you know what? I give up, I give up. <coughs> Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Hey, where's that mean guy? I didn't see him leap yet. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen them. Sir? Ooh. How much do you think we need to save for her college fund? She's not even born yet. Five more days till I have a baby. Baby's gonna grow up so fast and I really want to capture those moments. I saw this monthly tie-dye tutorial and I really want to do it. So I can take photos of baby every month. We found this pastel tie-dye kit from Walmart. I got these plain white onesies from Amazon. And look how tiny they are. Loser gets month two because it's harder to do. Yeah! And since I won, I get easy number one. I think the last time I played around with tie-dye, I was in elementary school or something. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but I mean, how hard can it be, right? I wanted the wand to pop out the most, so I used the darkest color, which was blue. And then I just kind of went crazy with the other colors. I think mine's going to be nice. Okay, Johnny's turn. Good luck with number two. Folding with the curves is so hard to do, which is why the loser had to do this. <laughs> but he fancy. He did some cool designs. And then this happens. It won't be done for eight hours. Won't see the results until tomorrow. I do a part two. That's so annoying. <laughs> we'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> Oops. I left my book back at the airport. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you can call Lost and Found after we land. Can't you just turn the plane around? Oh, I'm sorry. We can't. We only do that for medical or other emergencies. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> <gasps> I can't breathe. I think I'm allergic to these crackers. <clears throat> Mary, can you grab the EpiPen? <gasps> What's up? Uh, EpiPen. Don't worry, miss. It's just a small needle that we jab into the side of your thigh, and it'll help you with your allergic reaction. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm good. Excuse me, when can I smoke? I'm sorry, sir. There's no smoking on board. 
No, when the no smoking sign turns off, I can smoke. No, there's no smoking on board. Well, I've smoked before. You mean like 20 years ago? Fine, then why don't you open the doors and let me smoke outside? Okay. Oh, it's morning. Yeah. Mom, let's teach Mom, you know how to speak English. Can you order it yourself? I don't know how to order it. How do you order when I'm not around then? Alright, I'm going to Oh, hello. Hello, what would you like for your meal? Please, I have rice and no chicken. I want to... What is this? What is Do you just have anything that doesn't have any meat in it? Oh, are you a vegetarian? No, I am Korean. Merry Christmas, everyone! I know it sucks we're like working today, but I think we can still have some fun. How about we play Secret Santa with things we find on the plane? Yeah, let's do it! Okay, pick a name. We'll meet back in 30 minutes. I got you, Heather. Leftover first class chocolates. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. I got you too. No way! How fun! I thought you meant buy something from the duty free cart, so I got you skincare. Holy crap! These are so expensive! Thanks! My turn! Merry Christmas, Lindsay! Bish, I love you. You know me so well. Are those from our bar cart? Because if you get caught with those when we land, you're gonna get fired. Uh, that's why I get rid of the evidence. And here's your gift. <laughs> Seat 7A. Can I help you? Are you with anybody? No, I'm alone. Meet me in the toilet. <laughs> and that's how I met your father. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm making ice towels. <gasps> No, 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 no. The standard is hot towels. You cannot give ice towels. It's like a thousand degrees outside. If I give them a hot towel, they're gonna throw it at me. I am the senior on this flight. Follow my orders. Okay. Would you like a towel? Thank you. Oh, this towel's hot. It's like a thousand degrees in here. What the hell's the matter with you? Idiot. Ah! The passengers are angry. I just had a great idea. Let's use ice towels. Everybody, ice towels. Bitch. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part five, let's go. Did you know that many new hires quit during training because it's just that difficult? After you are hired, you'll attend an aviation training college where you'll spend five to eight weeks training to be cabin crew. Learning about the service is the easy part. You will learn how to deal with medical emergencies and use simulations to handle pretty much any emergency. I'll give you an example of my least favorite time during training. You see this thing? We practice emergency landings on water. So yeah, in our clothes, we go down the slide into freezing waters and we try to survive together. We also go to makeup school, men included. No, you can't use this, it's the wrong shade of red. Hey, how was your first time flying alone? Good. Were the flight attendants nice to you? Yes, very nice. Good, can you let me talk to one of them? Because I just wanna let them know I'm just gonna be a little late picking you up. No, they busy right now. Busy? Doing what? They're supposed to be next to you at all times. Um, they talking to the police. Police? Is everything okay? What, what, what's that sound? That's the alarm. There's fire peoples and police and security running around. Oh my God, oh my God. Don't move, I'm almost there. I'm gonna come in to get you, okay? No, you can't come in. The airport is on lockdown. Why? They're looking for someone right now. Who? Me. Oh my God. It feels nice, right? I have been doing a thousand squats a day. I'm so flattered you've noticed. Actually, I don't think you got it right the first time. I think you need to really get in there and squeeze it. You don't understand how nice it is. Like it's really firm. Squeeze it. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. I said no ice. Seriously, you have one job to serve and you can't even get that right.
How are you still employed? My apologies, I'll make you another one. And wait another 15 minutes for you to take your time to bring it to me? Forget it. Whatever. Machi, my daughter. Oh, say sorry. I'm sorry. What? <sighs> Ma'am, this area is for first class passengers only. Oh, I, I just want to use the toilet. The other one has a long line. I'm so sorry about that. They actually pay a premium so that they can use those toilets. Oh, okay. I say hello to my friend in first class. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I know you're the same lady from before, just with glasses and with probably one of the worst Korean accents I've ever heard. Jeez, I'm cute. Oh, I hurt my back. I need to lie down. Can you let me lie down in there? You dropped a 20. Where? Excuse me. Sorry to bother you, but uh, I was just wondering if if you had anywhere that had maybe two empty seats. The seat is um, it's, it's quite small and just it's just really uncomfortable. Oh my goodness, I know these seats are tiny. Um, I don't actually see two free seats, but. But I know there's an empty seat in business. There's a bit more space there. I'll move you there. Hey, can I sit there too? No. Hello, you ordered the large french fry? Yes, thank you. Great. So actually, your order has been paid for already by the person in front of you as part of the paid forward chain. Huh? Why? It's when the person pays for the next person's order to spread kindness and you're actually a 27 person. Oh, that's a pretty nice. Oh, okay, okay, I do the same. That's so sweet, thank you. So the order for the person behind you comes to $105.32. $105? They must have a few people in the car. <laughs> I'm not paying that. You broke it. Go get job paper, your boot. What? What did I do? Passport. Here you go. Thank you. Is something wrong? Your picture looks nothing like you. What do you mean? I mean, the hair is different. Different bone structure. Oh. No, that's contouring. It was just my makeup. Honey, I know makeup. This is not makeup. Yeah, no. Please go to additional security. They'll double check. No, wait. I can prove it. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. They are the same. Security! Why? Because it's illegal to alter your photo to look like a completely different person. Attention passengers, I'm sorry, but it looks like we might not make it out alive. The engines aren't working and the plane is going down at an alarming speed. All I can say is hold on to your loved ones and pray. If we're going to die anyways, I need to let you know. I love you, Lisa. We're cousins! Okay, okay, it was me. I did it. I closed the toilets. Both of them. I can't die with this guilt. I cheated on my wife with her best friend! You cheated on me with Sarah! Attention passengers, it's a miracle! I've got everything under control. We're going to be okay. Please forget what I said about the toilets. Babe, it looks like we're going to live! Ah! Hello, because you're sitting in an emergency exit row, will you be able to assist us in case of an emergency? Oh, no worries. I'm actually crew, so I got it. You're crew? Yeah, and uh, sorry to bother you, but can I actually get some headphones? Oh my gosh, of course. Here you go. Thanks. Again, that was $5, right? Let me just grab my card here. Girl, please, don't worry about it. Oh my god, thank you. You're so sweet. And, you know, also for my meal, just give me whatever's left over. Don't worry about it. Why? I don't want you guys dealing with the angry passengers, you know, if they don't get their meal choice. Oh my god, I love you. Here, take these snacks from first class. Thanks! And did you want something to drink before we take off? Maybe some wine? On me? Oh sure, that would be great, but just one glass. I don't want you getting in trouble. One glass? 
Yeah, of course. I got you. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks for flying Genie Air. Have a great day. Get my Hello, how can I help you? Um, my mom wants to change seats, please. Oh, you want to change seats? Okay, well, let me take a look. Oh, it looks like the only available seats are in the back next to the toilets. Uh, my mom says she dying. Pardon me? 그리고 우리 뒤에 앉으면 안 돼. 시간이 없다고. 비행기 또 타야 되는데. 뒤에 앉아 봐. 어? 그 마지막 비행기야. 놓치면 안 돼. 마지막. Uh, she says she had no time left and this her last flight. Her last flight? Oh my god. You know what? We're going to have to make this a memorable flight for her now, don't we? Here are your new seats. Thank you. What? Yeah. What did you I don't know. Oh, man, I'm hungry. Hmm. Eat some food. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not get up from your seat as it's going to get very dark soon due to the solar eclipse. Please refrain from looking out the windows. Complete darkness should only last for a few seconds. I don't know. What is a word in your foreign language that just sounds insanely inappropriate to English speakers? There's a super common word in Korean that if I actually say this, I'll probably get banned. So let me just split it up a bit. Ni ga. We are not saying the N-word. We're saying you. 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 I've heard of so many Korean rappers and K-pop artists get so much hate for using that word. They're just saying you. Can you please stop coming after us for using that word? Because, like, it's not our fault. Like, we didn't create the language! Things you didn't know about Cabin Crew! Part 2, let's go! Did you know we get paid in multiple ways? All airlines are different, but this is how I got paid. One, we receive a base salary. So regardless of if we fly or not, we still get paid. Two, we get paid for our flight time. We also get paid an hourly wage based on this bad boy. The moment the wheel chocks come off and come back on is how we calculate our flight time. And number three, my favorite, allowance. During our layover flights, not only do we get to stay in four or five star hotels, we get money. We get anywhere from 30 to $100 a night, cash. It's supposed to be for food, but I spend it all on booze and going out. You lost my luggage. Oh, hello. I didn't lose anything, but I will do my best to assist you. May I please get your passport and your luggage tag? You, the company, same, same. Thank you. Okay, yep, your luggage is missing. That's what I said! Did you pick up your luggage when you transferred flights? No, you're supposed to send it to my final destination, which is here, but it's not here. Actually, because you flew internationally, you had to pick up your bags, clear customs, recheck your bags for this domestic flight. How was I supposed to know that? We do tell you when you check in and also prior to the plane landing. Well, if someone told me, I would have picked it up, but clearly no one told me. Let me just call the other airport and locate your bag, right? Hello, hi. I was wondering if you can help me locate a lost luggage. Great, uh, it's luggage tag A35456. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, makes sense. Uh-huh, yeah, that's the one, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. They found it? No, they couldn't find it anywhere. Your bag just disappeared, poof. Did you buy insurance? Oh, well, can they look harder? It has to be there. Luggage doesn't just get up and walk away on its own. <laughs> and what after that? <laughs> so do you want to hang out tomorrow after school? No, I can't. I have a job. Don't you have a job? 
No, my parents said I'm not allowed to get a job until I'm like 18. What? Why? I don't know. Because my mom thinks that I'm going to be an adult when I'm 18. That's so not fair. Your parents are literally raising you to be a spoiled brat. Like, why would you want to be spoiled when you could just go and get a job and be independent? How do you always have money then? Your parents just give it to you? No. Well, technically, yeah, but I have to do chores around the house. They don't just give it to me. Chores? That doesn't even count. They're basically just giving you money. That's going to make you spoiled. You're always going to depend on your parents. I think you should get a job. I don't know. I don't really want to. See? You're already turning into a spoiled brat. Dude, I just turned 16. Like, what? I'll get a job when I turn 18. It's not that big of a deal. They want me to focus on school. Well, I can still focus on school. My parents make me go to work. Okay, well, that sucks. I'm sorry. Ugh, I hate you. Lily, are you wearing any perfume? You smell so good. Oh, it's actually mine. Yeah, I let her borrow it, so I'll take that compliment. I, like, had to wake her up this morning to tell her to go take a shower because she smelled so bad. Oh, what? I'm kidding. Uh... Lily, what is this song? Your playlist is always so good. Like, technically my playlist because she literally steals all the songs off of my playlist and like calls it her own. No, I know I sent you this song, but like you didn't need to add it to your playlist. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's actually my music. Your makeup always looks so good. I swear like your skin is so flawless. You should see her makeup brushes. They're from like 2007 and she hasn't washed them in like months. Like, Lily does not deserve her perfect skin because she never takes care of it. She like washes her face like once every three days. Lily, I think the waiter has a crush on you. He's been staring at you the entire time. No, he's definitely looking at me. Why would he be looking at Lily? She's literally wearing a giant sweatshirt with a huge hole in the back of it. Oh my god, why are you mad? Lily, I'm just kidding. It was a joke. Oh my god, you're so sensitive. I was just kidding. Hey, you around? Yeah, you need? Yeah, could you meet in like 15? Yeah, no problem. See you in 15. Okay, I'm here. Where are you at? About to leave right now. Hey, ETA? On my way. It's been 30 minutes. Are you almost here? Yeah, I'm almost there. It's been an hour. Are you still coming? Yeah, I'm just doing a few drop-offs on the way. I'll be there soon. It's been three hours. I don't need it anymore. You still need? Can I use your lip gloss? My lips are so trapped. Yeah, here you go. I actually just got this Fenty one. Oh my god, this is so nice. I know, right? Yeah, it was kind of expensive too. Hey, actually, before I forget, um, how much of it did you use? Oh, not a lot. Just like a little bit. Well, just like approximately. Like approximately how much did you use of it? Did you like double dip? Did you completely cover your top and bottom lip? Did you just put it on your bottom lip and then, you know, blend it with your top lip together? How much did you use? Just approximately. Sorry, like I hate to be annoying. I'm just wondering are you joking no i'm serious how much did you use like i'm not mad or anything like i don't care i'm just like asking oh um i, I think i like swiped one time across my top and bottom lip i didn't double dip in the tube <laughs> okay so one full swipe on your bottom lip and then you probably turned the applicator over to the other side and you did your top lip right so you use both sides? Um, I think, I don't know, like, what is going on? Okay, um, well, I'm just asking because the lip gloss is $21, so I'm just trying to calculate how much you should Venmo me for it. It's really no big deal, you don't have to do it now, you can do it after. But, um, yeah, just don't forget, you owe me 15 cents. So, you could just round it up to 16 if you want. Thanks. Hey, can I come over? Hey, I actually have work in 30 minutes, I can't hang out, sorry. I'm already here, open the door. Oh, hey, did you get my text where I said that I couldn't hang out? Yeah, no worries. I can tag along. I'll just hang out there for six hours. You're going to hang out at my job for six hours? Why? I don't know. I'm bored. Um, Did your mom go grocery shopping? Last time I made her a grocery list and she forgot my favorite ice cream bars. Make sure she gets them this time, okay? Lily, is your mom still taking us to the mall tomorrow? Yeah, of course. She had to work, but I made her call off because this is way more important. Okay, good. How much money did she give you? My mom gave me 100 and then I made my dad give me 40 So, 140 How about you? Ugh, lucky, my mom only gave me 100 That's okay. That can still buy you like two things from Junk Elephant. I know, but I wanted the Boom Boom Cream too. And I wanted a new pair of Lulus. Because for Christmas, my mom got me a purple pair when I specifically asked for pink. Like, she doesn't even care about me, I swear. 
No, literally the same thing happened to me. I asked for a pink scuba and they got me a white one. Like, what a joke. At least you got a Stanley. My parents got me a freaking hydro flask. Like, what am I, five? But it's fine because they said they were going to return it because I completely stopped drinking water to teach them a lesson. Like, seriously, I'm not going to drink water unless it's out of a Stanley. Ew. I know. Oh my god, the Uber driver overcharged me. He charged me $75 for my ride last night. It was supposed to be 22 I have to call. Like, call your parents so they can pay for it? Girl, what? I have to call Uber so they can refund it or dispute it or whatever. Oh, right. Wait, why? Um, because I can't afford to pay it? <laughs> oh. Right. Yep. I got it now. Mm -hmm, that makes total sense. How much was it again? 75 cents? Oh, dollars? What's the difference? Is that like the price of like a Starbucks drink or something? It's more. A lot more. Oh, okay. Yeah, that like three drinks? Oh. Yikes. I mean, I could just give you like my dad's, I mean, my debit card and you can just use it and pay for it. I don't really care. Um, it's fine. You don't have to call them and like make a scene. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it is. It is a big deal because it's a lot of money. But yeah, you can just use my card. Are you sure? I mean, I, I don't know how I'm going to pay you back. No, it's okay. You don't have to pay me back. My dad doesn't... I mean, I don't care. So, here's my debit card. Um, Just don't look at the name on the card. <laughs> so, how are things with you going? Are you dating anyone? Yeah, so funny that you ask. I actually just started talking to someone. Um, His name's Jason. Jason Smith. Jason Smith? That kind of sounds familiar. Yeah, we went to the same middle school, remember? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, how could I forget? He was my gym partner for three years. Oh yeah, he was. I completely forgot about that. That's crazy that you remember that. I mean, how could I forget? You know, we were super close. So what did you say? You guys were dating or talking or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, we actually just started talking a few weeks ago. We went on a few dates. Everything's been really great. He's really sweet. Oh, and you didn't think to ask me for my permission? Permission for what? to talk to him we were really close and he made me a promise that if he wasn't married by 30 he would get married to me oh well i mean just a minute ago you didn't even remember his name that's not relevant what's relevant is that you're completely going against girl code the least you could have done is asked me if i was okay with it i think you're being a little dramatic i, I can't even tell if you're joking or not it was middle school and you guys never dated you were just gym partners hey can you send me the pictures that we took today Sure. I was actually just about to post this one. Oh, hang on. Don't post them yet. I want to look at them first. Why? You look fine. Okay, well, I just want to see them. Okay, here. This is the one I was just about to post. Let me see. Are you joking? Wait, did you show me the right picture? My eye is closed. I think I was mid-wink or blink. Why would you post this? What? I look horrible. Let me see the other ones. Here's one where we both look good. Why wouldn't you just pick this one? Oh my god, you look fine in the other one. Are you joking? Did you see the picture? Did you even look at me? Yeah, you look fine. I look really good, so I wanted to post that one, you know? I don't see the problem. Well, I'm mid-sentence talking here. I'm not even ready for the picture. I'm not even posing. I'm literally speaking, like, mid-sentence. So, you look fine. I look really good, right? Like, look at my skin. It looks flawless. My hair looks good. Well, you look really good in all the other pictures where I'm ready for the picture and posing. Why don't you just post those? Ugh, whatever. I'm so excited to exchange gifts. You want to just do it now? Yeah, sure. Here, you open yours first. Okay, give me, give me, give me. Um, there's just a hat in the bag. Is there, did you forget to put the gift in here? No, silly, that's the gift. I made the hat. It took me like three hours. I crocheted it. Oh, is this everything though? Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of broke this year, so I just decided to make everyone gifts, but I bought the yarn, if that counts, um, and I feel like it's a little more meaningful this way. Okay, let me open mine. Oh, okay, here you go. Okay, let me see. <gasps> you got me AirPods? Oh my god, I really needed these. I know, since your dog chewed up your old ones. Yay. Wait, what's wrong? Are you not happy with your gift? Um, well, I mean, I bought your headphones and they were $100, so 
I was kind of expecting like something better than something homemade, no offense. Oh, well, I mean, I didn't even ask for anything in the first place. So I didn't expect you to buy me headphones. You can take them back if you want. No, it's fine, whatever. Merry Christmas. Did you invite Chelsea? She didn't tell you? Tell me what? She did me super dirty. I just had to drop her. No way. What happened? You guys are friends for like 10 years. Basically, I was getting ready to post on Instagram. I was going to do a nice little photo dump. And I sent her three selfies of me. The two selfies are gorge. They're like slightly different. But the third one, I decided to edit it super weird. Basically, I made like my eyes go different directions. Like my lips were super huge. Just the picture overall looked nothing like me. So I decided to send it to her to test her. Okay. And guess what? She chose the third picture. No way. Mm hmm And then I confronted her. I was like, Chelsea, you chose the ugliest picture of me. What'd she say? She said, they all look the same. <gasps> mm-hmm. Yeah. She's dead to me. That's crazy. So what are you going to order? The slice of pomegranate in there as well. No, darling. It's not pomegranate. What do you actually think it is? Give another guess. Oh, it's a grapefruit. Yes, there we go. While you were in the bathroom, your phone lit up and it was a notification from a dating app. We've been dating for two years. Do you want to explain why you have a dating app downloaded on your phone? Number one, why are you going through my phone? That's a major invasion of my privacy. And number two, why don't you trust me? A relationship is nothing without trust. So if you're trying to accuse me of something, just say that now and we'll be done. I'm kind of confused now because all I did was ask you why you downloaded a dating app while we are dating. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm simply asking you why. Well, answer my question first. Why are you going through my phone? I wasn't. You left your phone on the bed and it lit up. So I looked over. Okay, that's fair. That's my fault for leaving my phone unattended. As for the dating app though, the only reason I downloaded it was to make new friends. That's all. I'll be right back, I gotta go shower. Wait, I'll come in there with you. In the shower? No, fucking weirdo, I'm just gonna sit on top of the toilet. Why? I don't know, I just don't wanna be in your room by myself, I'm bored. Having no ass is really starting to ruin all of my outfits. And it doesn't help that all mannequins have BBLs nowadays because like, I, I just can't see what it's going to look like until I put it on, and then I'm horribly disappointed. Okay, your total is going to be seventy nine eighty two. Did you want to sign up for our rewards plan? It'll save you 15% off. Okay, sure. Yeah, I want to save 15% off. Is that going to be applied on today? Yeah, absolutely. It'll be super quick to sign up, too. It'll just be a few questions. Okay. Alrighty, first question. What is your email address? Why do you need my email address? Why would I give you such personal information as an email address? Well, it's where we would send the rewards to. I thought you said I could use it today. Yeah, absolutely. I can apply the reward on today and then future rewards will be sent to your email address. But that's my work email address. I don't, I don't want you sending stuff to my work email address. No worries at all. So you don't want to sign up today? I want the coupon. What don't you understand, lady? We can also sign you up with a phone number. Did you want to do that instead? What's up with all these federal questions? Who are you? Who do you work for? I know what you're going to do. You're going to take my information and you're going to sell it. No, no, no. It's not going to work. I don't want to be a part of this. Okay, so give me my coupon. Hand it over. Should I wear these jeans tonight? Absolutely not. They make your ass look so flat. It looks invisible. Like, is it even attached to your body? I can't even tell. Wear the light blue ones. They make you look like Kim K. Should I straighten my hair or wear it in a slick back ponytail? Definitely in a slick back ponytail. When you wear it straight, you look like Lord Farquaad. But when you wear it in a ponytail, you look like Bella Hadid. We need to stop for gas. Do you mind going in and getting us like a little snack and paying for the gas? I'll give you my card. Yeah, sure. How much? Like 10. 100? No, 10. 10 dollars? Yeah, it's fine. 10 dollars will fill up half of my tank. It takes like 20 bucks to do a full tank. So just do half. Absolutely not. I'm not going in there and saying that I want $10 worth of gas. That is so embarrassing. How was that embarrassing? It's gas. You're paying for it. No, they're going to make fun of me. They're going to think it's my car and I'm getting $10 worth of gas. Like, I cannot be seen doing that. My car is from 1987. Like, I literally only need $10 right now. Please just go in, okay? I'm going to pump the gas. You go in and pay for it. Get me a Gatorade and... 
No, that is so embarrassing. I can't do that. They're all going to point and laugh at me when I say I want $10 worth of gas. They're probably even going to take a picture of me and put it up on the bulletin board behind the cashier. They're going to make it like an inside joke and like point at the picture every time they want a good laugh. And write like, this is the girl that got $10 worth of gas. Absolutely not. You go in and ask for it. Which top do you think I should wear tonight? The gray or the black? They're both really cute. I love them. But do you want to try on that red top that I brought that I decided not to wear? It's super low cut and I have sticky tape for your boobs. It'll like push them up and make them look super good and perky. Do you think I should wear a ponytail tonight or wear my hair down? Mm, I think you should wear a ponytail, but make sure you bring out your little bang pieces. And don't forget to bring a brush because your hair is going to get really tangly really fast. Oh my god, that really cute guy keeps looking over here. Oh my god, he's coming over here. How do I look? Oh my god, you're a little oily around your T-zone. Let me get my powder. Let me smell your breath. Ugh, here's some gum. Let me check your nose. Oh my god, you have a booger. Come here. Here, I also brought some perfume. Wait, let me check for boogers one more time. Okay, you're good. Turn around, let me check your butt. <gasps> oh my god, there's something on your butt. No worries, I brought my jacket with me. I could just take it off and you can tie it around your waist. Okay, you're good. Have fun. If you need me to come save you from the conversation, just hold up three fingers by your thigh and itch your ear twice and I'll be there. Love hanging out with you. I feel like we're having a really great time and we're getting along really well. Yeah, we've been on about 12 dates so far, so we had this discussion on our very first date. I would like to take it slow, and I thought you agreed. Yeah, I thought we were taking it slow. I mean, we've been on 12 dates. How much slower can it get? You know what I mean? I just want to know what we are. We're having fun. So we're exclusive? What does that mean to you? That we're only seeing each other? Oh, fuck no. I'm going on another Tinder date in 20 minutes. Matter of fact, I gotta go. So I'm gonna see other people too. You fucking whore. Hey. Yo. What's good? Just got off of work. Yeah, I just worked an 80-hour shift, no lunch break. I got my own crib, I got my own money, got my own car. Damn, okay, Miss Hollywood, can't even get a response. Hard eyes, hard eyes, hard eyes. What are you doing tonight? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hello? Damn, looking good. You're ugly anyways, bitch. Fuck you. My bad, I didn't actually mean that. I was just kidding. So what's good? You going out tonight? You going out for Halloween? What are you going to be for Halloween? You want to go to a spooky corn maze? You want to go to a haunted house? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey, just double checking. You cleared your calendar for dinner tomorrow night, right? I'm dying to go to that new place. Like, I can't. Oh, sorry. Dinner tomorrow me. Yeah! Okay. Do you want to go swimming? You can borrow my bikini if you want. Oh, wait, I forgot. You have double Ds. What are you doing after work? Besides going to the gym, since you go to the gym every day are we gonna uber there yeah that's fine do you want to uber back too yeah we can just split it well actually my mom said that she would pay for it she would pay for it there and back i don't know she was feeling really generous so oh really that's so sweet that is so sweet of her oh my god okay thanks tell her thanks okay so it says that the uber is 15 minutes away okay so i was actually thinking um so it says that it's 30 dollars there and then $30 back, so that's 60 bucks. Um, did you wanna just give me 30? So we can do like half and half? What? I, I thought you said that your mom would pay for it. There and back. Well, yeah, but I just like kind of feel bad, you know, I just like kind of feel bad for her. So if you could just like at least give me half and then um Yeah, I just like won't feel as bad. Oh, okay, so you'll give the thirty dollars to your mom, right? Um, I mean, she probably wouldn't mind if I just took it for myself. Yeah, I'm sure she wouldn't care. Oh, so I would just be giving you $30 when your mom paid for the Uber and didn't ask for any money back. Well, when you say it like that, it sounds kind of bad. No, like, not like that. Like, you would just be giving me half of what my mom paid for. Yeah, but the money's not going to be going to your mom. It's going directly in your pocket. So basically, you're profiting off of me. I obviously would have been more than willing to split the Uber, like, half and half, but you said that your mom would pay for the entire thing. Hi, sweetheart. Your teacher emailed me that you wanted to have a meeting with me. I'm so glad to see you. How are you doing? How is this school year treating you? Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that. What can I do to help? Just remember, everything that we talk about in this room is confidential. It's just between me and you. So go ahead, tell me all your secrets. I'm here to listen and only listen. 
you're depressed okay let me just jot that down real quick you have anxiety okay let's jot that one down too are you experiencing any scary thoughts you are okay let's jot that one down in big bold letters these are just notes for me no one will see these anything else you want to tell me everything okay at home all right sweetheart we'll go back to class okay i'm so glad you got that off your chest have a good rest of your day hi is this kelsey's mom hi kelsey's mom this is the school counselor i would love to schedule a meeting with you soon yeah i have a few notes jotted down here about some emotions that kelsey's going through i would love to discuss them with you hey i forgot my mascara at home is it okay if i use yours yeah of course it's in the drawer right there okay thanks how many coats did you use of the mascara um like two why Oh, I'm just trying to calculate the amount that you should Venmo me for the coats. I'm going to see how much the mascara costs and then how many coats are estimated to be inside the tube. And then I can figure out how much you owe me. What? You're joking, right? No, why would I be joking? You're using my stuff. So obviously, you know, like I know we're friends and stuff and that's why I let you use it. But um, it, it, it was $9. So I do need you to Venmo me. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were going to charge me for two coats of mascara. I wouldn't have used it if I knew. Yeah, sorry, times are really tough right now. Every penny counts. Um, do you mind just Venmo me? It actually came out to 28 cents for those coats. So, I'll send you my Venmo. Three what's the 3% right here? 3%, 3%, 3333. Three, three. Oh, we own 97%. The 3% you retain. You retain that. Yeah, yeah. Understood? Retain, yeah, Retain. Yeah. You re Gee, I wonder if I'm the only one with free will and everyone else is being mind controlled by the same guy. You're talking foolish. What makes you say that? Nothing. That was oddly defensive. Well, I certainly didn't mean to act as such. What makes you say that? Nobody. You see, not only was my question not literal, I asked what, not who. Ah, we misheard. We? Yeah, I'm bilingual. Oh, me too. Are you top or bottom? No, see, I speak English and French. Right. Is English and French the only two languages you know, or do you know all of them? Oh, well, that's ridiculous. You don't actually believe that. See? See as in C, or like, yes in Spanish. See? Shit. So who's the one controlling everybody? You. I know, it's just fun to talk to myself and pretend I don't well, know. Well, it certainly helps keep us from going insane. Don't refer to me as us. It breaks the immersion. You're the one who said it, you bastard. Hey, go fuck yourself. Maybe I will. After all, I am bilingual. That's not what that means. Remember when I created that AI that could tell stories so well, the brain interprets them as actual experiences, creating false memories, and then I made the mistake of telling it to write my biography. Wait, 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 that's what happened to me. I, I created the AI. No, I remember writing the I, code. I, I literally remember doing it myself. I remember very clearly because my long black hair kept getting in the way of the screen. I remember it too. You don't have long black hair. What? Your hair is curly and... I don't know the difference between brown and blonde. Your hair's not black. Your hair's not long and black either. I clearly remember uploading it under my username, which is xxlongblackhair27. That's my username. What have I done? Okay, we need to have a talk. Why do you sound so serious? Who died? You. What? You're a ghost. We, we all are. Is this a bit? No, we actually thought you were doing a bit by pretending to be alive. Okay, so I got tired of my old life and family. I hired someone to fake my death. He does it. I fly over here. Well, you, this is a bit, isn't it? John, how did he fake your death? He loaded a gun, shot me, cut me up, and threw me in the river. But it was all staged. John, he just killed you. No, I paid him extra so he'd be even more realistic. You must have paid him a lot extra because he literally just shot you and killed you with a gun. No. What airline did you fly here with? I didn't have one. I just flew over. Living people can't do that. Yeah, but still. What do you mean, yeah, but still? You're literally dead and buried. You're overreacting. It's not that deep. It's six feet. Do you feel kind of funny? Nah, you're just drunk. I haven't been drinking. You're so drunk, you don't even remember drinking. It's still daylight, why would I have been drinking? I tried asking you that, but you're too drunk to answer me. I'm not drunk. Yes, you are. You're, you're gaslighting me. I'm not gaslighting you. I think you're the one who's drunk. What do you mean? I sound completely sorbet. It's sober, not sorbet. Now you're gaslighting me. I'm not gaslighting. What do you know about gaslighting, anyway? My house is all gas lights. Well, which gas do they produce? Carbon monoxide. No, th that's the, the gas that we produce when we breathe. Uh, I think my wife is calling. I act sober. Uh, the results came back. It looks like your brain cells. 
what about them? Your brain cells? Yeah, and? No, that's the full sentence. We made a bunch of copies of your brain and put them up for sale, and they completely sold out. I didn't agree to that. Well, it's too late now. Well, I'll just go home and have some uh, lead juice. Lead consumption can lead to serious brain damage. Exactly. If I damage my brain, you guys won't be selling them anymore. The copies of your brain that were already put out won't have brain damage and will go up in value because of that, making us even more money. How about this? You continue to sell my brain, but you give me a cut of it. What if we don't? I'll come after you. You're not going to be able to do anything on your own. I'll bring others as well. Nobody's just going to tag along with some random guy. I would. Yeah, but you're different. Most people wouldn't do that. If I would do it, then the thousands of people with an exact copy of my brain would do it too. So you're going to give me the cut. All right, what do you want? 50%. What? That's non-negotiable. We've both made my mind. It's my birthday tomorrow. Really? Yeah, goodbye 18. Hello 33. You're turning 33. Yeah. But you're 18 right now. Oh, I got that existence premium. What does that do? It gives me access to exclusive features like non-linear aging, unnatural sound effects. We uh, mean unnatural sound effects. You'll see. All right, all right, I get it. Well, what else can you do? Built-in alarm clock. How does that work? You set a time, then your body makes a loud noise that wakes yourself up. What? <gasps> Snooze. What was that? The built-in alarm clock. No, we were talking, and then all of a sudden it was you waking yourself up. What was that? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. When I show someone something, you can do a mental cutaway now. All right, keep going. What else, what else is there? Customizable hair color. You can do that already with dye. Speaking of dying, if you die, you can watch an ad to be revived. So you could have a heart attack and be like, can you do the cutaway for me? I, I can't do it. Yeah, sure. <sighs> I should buy an air fryer. Can you do a joke about the color dark blue? Maybe. Did you say maybe or navy? I mumbled some sort of in-between word to try to create a pun. You do realize you're going to have to put captions on this video, right? Yeah, and? You're going to have to distinguish whether you said maybe or navy, which will ruin the joke because your brain's just going to snap towards whichever one they read in the captions. Oh, shit. All right, next joke. I'll give you $5 if you can name something naturally occurring that's dark blue. Um, see? Wait, no, ignore what I just said. Don't think about the sea. Fuck. So is that good for jokes about the color dark blue? Those are just puns relating to the word blue. They're not actually about the color dark blue. So what do you want me to do? A joke about dark blue. All right, fine. Colorblind people will be like, don't mess with me. I see red when I fight. Then this is the color they see when they fight. That was just a joke about being colorblind. All right, fine, here. I knew this guy named Lee who had both of his arms blown off in an explosion. Now we call him Leslie. That was just a really dark joke about someone who blew up. A really dark joke about someone who blew up. Dark blue. Uh, you're reaching. Unlike Leslie. I'm looking for a wanted criminal with the first name Noah and last name Noah. Does anybody Noah Noah Noah? Does anybody what? Noah Noah Noah. Know who? Noah Noah. I do. His name is Noah Boone. No, Noah Noah. What are you trying to say? This, this is like that old who's on first sketch. Who's on first? Yes, and who's on third? I don't know. So you've seen it? No. You haven't seen it? No, uh... That's the man I'm looking for. Noah? Yes. What's his last name? Noah. His first name and last name are both Noah. Exactly. Have you seen him? Yeah, he was here about five minutes ago. He paid me $20 to waste your time while he ran away. Which way did he go? That way. Hey, aren't you Noah Noah? I am. But if anybody asks, I'm not Noah Noah, and you don't Noah Noah Noah. Jimmy, none of this is real. You're in a coma right now. Please, wake up. Uh, okay. Jimmy, you've been in a coma for five years. You were in a car accident. Oh, hold on, I forgot something. There it is. Wait, why are you back? Jimmy, you've been in a coma for six years. For six years? I was only gone for like... Shit, I forgot my watch. Oh, we were back. Jimmy, stop trying to take oh, things out of the coma. That doesn't work. Jimmy, you've been in a coma for Just seven... one more minute. Actually, I don't even remember what I came in for. Hold on. Jimmy... Oh, my glasses. There. All right, I'm done now. Jimmy, you've been in a coma for nine years. You were in a car accident and lost both of your legs. That's weird. I could have sworn I brought those with me. Hold on, I'll be no, right wait, back. No, wait, Jimmy. That's it. I'm tired of you recording everything. You're done. No, wait, wait. Please, no. Yeah, I, I mean, no, no, sorry, I'm dead. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, is dead people talk? Would you believe me if I said yes? No. What if I said no? Still wouldn't believe you. But, okay, then no. Well, I don't believe you. So you think dead people can talk? Wait, no, uh, I... I don't think they can. Shut up, yes they can. And what makes you think that?
Gotcha, dead people can't open doors. Shit. Hey, wanna play truth or dare? Where? No, not there. Dare. That's where I'm looking. No, dare, as in truth or. Wait, did you say dare? Yes, dare. Oh, I, I still don't see it. Can you point that out? I'm asking if you want to play the game, truth or dare. Oh, yeah, sure, uh, truth or dare. Truth. What were you trying to show me? There's a demon over there that's trying to force me to dare you into sacrificing yourself, so I tried to get you to look over there without the demon noticing. Quickly, before he kills me, over there, look. What? Dare. No, you picked truth. You can't change you it now. The Time Traveler Roleplay Club is celebrating their 10th anniversary today. I cannot believe it's been a week and a half already. We will return after these short messages. Do you lack self-awareness? Maybe you need Awaritin, the only pill guaranteed to bring you awareness about yourself and your purpose. Here's a few words from one of our happy customers. Dude, all these medical ad parodies are all the same. They always have that narrator who does the typical commercial voice that they barely even use in commercials anymore, so that gives it away that it's a parody, which ruins the fun if it's supposed to be passable as a real product. H how many did you take? 12, but I took them all off camera because Awaritin isn't even a real product and I don't even Please, have any candy that looks like talking. pills. Hundreds of teleprompters are being recalled after a strange glitch where text starts moving in the opposite, the in moving starts text for glitch strange after recall. Apologies, we had some technical difficulties. Uh, did, did someone put a wear it in my coffee? No, because there is no coffee. Oh fuck, it's kicking in. This is my impression of a man who keeps switching from an insecure comedian rewatching himself telling jokes and a tightrope walker talking to a future version of himself. I fell off. I fell off? Someone cut me off while I was in the middle of the line. Someone cut me off while I was in the middle of the line? I'll never do stand-up again. I'll never stand up again? Wait, who's that falling in the background? They caught it on camera? Turning my comments into jokes, part one. All right, I have the diagnosis. It looks like you have... I, I can't give you the diagnosis. It's a long story, so basically... Last New Year's, I made this thing where my actual New Year's resolution is to stop making jokes about mental illness. I mean, they're so overdone. No more jokes about schizophrenia or Alzheimer's or Alzheimer's or Alzheimer's. So I just can't give you your diagnosis. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding. Make a video about... About what? Was there a character limit or something? What Character limit? There's like four other people that are supposed to be in this video. No, character limit is in like text. Oh, like, all right, boys, we're good. It doesn't Thanks matter time. how many you guys are out there. I should be fine. Guys? Oh, no. This is my impression of a guy who spends way too much time trying to set up a joke. Wait, no, I didn't do the impression yet. But he is cut off as it transitions into the guy writing the joke. Wait, that's me. I'm writing about myself. Hmm. Then the joke writer gets a mansion and a bigger. Oh shit! My pen ran an ink halfway through mansion. Who are you? I'm the man you wrote down. You wanted. No, I, I I wanted a mansion. Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Go hang out with that guy who takes way too long setting up the jokes. He's just part of the joke you wrote. He doesn't exist. So are we. Who said that? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't care. You're out of the club. Can you cut me some slack? Today's been a real emotional roller coaster for me. You did that one on purpose. Yeah, but only because it's going to cut to another joke writer in a few seconds. I, I didn't know I had this much time. Well, you suck at this. You're like the opposite of that guy in the beginning. Look, I'm sorry. About this. And that's done. Wait. Joke within a joke within a joke within a joke. This is the last layer. At least I hope. No! Oh, never mind. It's just the power went out. All right, I guess this is real. I can just go on and live my life, and it won't end randomly for the sake of some joke. It's the phone that allows me to talk to different versions of myself from parallel universes. Uh, one second, Isabella. I'll be, I'm just on the phone. Ah, uh, this must be the universe where I married that girl that I almost started dating but never did. Oh, what, Isabella? That's like the norm. What do you mean? You're the only version of you that isn't with her. No, no, no that, that can't be right. I... Just call any of the universes. <sighs> hey, you're the unemployed version of me, right? Yeah, that's me. Who's this? I, are you dating Isabella? Oh, you must be the single version of me. That That's cool. That's a... <sighs> no, no, no. 
This is the presidential uh, version Mr. of you. Mr. isn't available right now, but I can put you through to the first lady, uh, Isabella. Shit. A, a com compulsive liar version of me. Are you also dating Isabella? No. Okay, yeah. God damn. Lazy version of me. Is is that you? No, it's Isabella. He didn't want to pick up the phone. You ever hear the curse of yapping? No. Basically, a long time ago in this village, there was a sorcerer. Whenever the sorcerer would try to speak to people, they'd just tune him out. They wouldn't listen. As revenge, he developed a curse where people could only get to the point with what they were trying to say when people weren't listening or were distracted. He wow, this guy won't shut up. Curse. I gotta get no, out of here. I have the curse. He put this it's a curse upon everyone in the village. But not only that, he went around the world and anyone he deemed to be a bad listener, he put the curse on as well. And rumor has it, he still wanders the earth. Listen, that's very interesting, but I, I gotta go to a he meeting. failed the test. Yeah, sure. I just, I, the meeting's very important. I gotta go. Oh yeah, what's so important about this meeting? Basically, the meeting is very important. A group of people will meet together, including myself, and discuss a bunch of important Wait, what's happening? Why can't I just say what I need to? Why, why am I still talking? Answer your question. You'd know if you were listening. I'm looking for an oddly masculine woman who just gave birth. What's up? Ma'am, I'm sorry, but your son is a cockroach. What? He was born a cockroach. How, how, does, how did that even happen? Well, maybe he shouldn't have been talking all that shit about the wizard who can cast retroactive spells. How was he talking shit? He was just born and he's a cockroach. No, no, no. He was going to be born a human who would go on to talk shit about a wizard who can cast retroactive spells. But the wizard cast a retroactive spell to turn him into a cockroach. So he was born a cockroach. This doesn't seem fair. How does it... Pretty much all birth defects are just that, retroactive spells. Why doesn't anyone talk about this? We try to tell all our patients, but the wizards cast retroactive spells, so you pretty much gets removed from your memory shortly after you're talking about it. Sorry, what were we talking about again? I don't even remember. Ugh, cockroach. No, I got it. We're good. Today is national if you check your calendar, your gay day. That, that's not a thing. Sure it is. No, you just made that up. If you don't believe me, check your calendar. I'm not going to check my calendar. I don't be labeled as gay. You'll only be labeled as gay if the holiday is real and you're very confident that it's not, so check your calendar. How did you even know about this holiday then? Well, I just knew what day it was. I glanced at the calendar yesterday and realized it was going to be tomorrow. All right, fine. I'll check my calendar. There's nothing there. What? There's nothing special for today. It's just a normal day. No, no, it, it's real. I remember it was today. It, it's on the 12th. Today's the 13th. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with being gay. <laughs> relax, relax. It's right. We accept you for who you really are. Recently, one of my friends betrayed and gave up on the whole group to get with someone else in the group's girlfriend. And honestly, I kind of feel bad for him because he doesn't have a job or anything, and he's only 18, so like he has no excuse to get away from her. It's like... Where are you going? I'm going to work. You don't have a job. All right, I'm going out with friends. You don't have friends. I'm going to drink and drive. You're not old enough to drink. Why would I care about the age limit if I'm willing to drink and drive? You don't have a fake ID. Fine, I'm just going to drive. You don't have a license. I've already established that I don't care about breaking the law. You don't have a car. I'll stay here. He's not breathing. Is anybody here an incompetent but very determined mind reader? No, a doctor, I was going to say. Is anybody here a doctor? Well, I already revealed that information at the beginning of the sentence. Seriously, guys, is anybody here a doctor? This is a medical emergency. Why are you just using the context clues of the sentence to figure out what I'm about to say? No, I'm not. All right, then what am I about to say without me having to start the sentence? Honeymoon. No, nope, not, not even, even close. close. Hey, CC, I did it. That's I not impressive. You just guessed wrong intentionally and predicted me telling you you were wrong. You're lying right now because you actually are a little bit impressed by that. Uh, it, it was a little bit clever. I'll give you that. Also, oh, you forgot about the guy who needs a doctor and is dying. Oh, sh. Why is there always a twist? What do you mean? In all your videos, it always leads up to some big reveal, like it was all hallucination, or the whole thing is told backwards. But if you don't have some sort of, like, bang at the end, it's just gonna be disappointing. You can have that bang and still have a disappointing final product. Ask my parents. I don't know, I just feel like everything should lead up to some big punchline. This video doesn't have that, and clearly someone's still watching. Yes, it does. Well, you mean like how I'm not real and I'm actually a representation of how you criticize yourself? Yeah. That's not really that big of a review. I mean, we both look identical, it's kind of implied. But if you're actually me, then... That joke about, like, disappointing the parent, that was about me. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Talk a lot of shit for someone who doesn't want a punchline. Let's go, come Let's on. go! I think you always have to have some sort of punchline or big reveal and everything, but that's not always necessary, you know? But don't beat yourself up Oh over. shit, I just did- This is two people experiencing a condition I made up called ATS Syndrome. Well, where, where are we? Don't panic, I think we're experiencing ATS Syndrome. What's that? It's amnesia teleportation syndrome. So our memory was wiped and we were teleported somewhere random. Exactly. How do we figure out where we are? Just look around and see if you can find anything that you recognize. Whoa! There's just a big drop-off at the end of this hall. Is there anything else? There's another hall next to us, but I can't reach it without falling. I've definitely never been here. Me either. 
Wait, what did you say ATS syndrome was? Amnesia teleportation syndrome. What does the S stand for? Syndrome. Amnesia teleportation syndrome syndrome? Oh shit. No, the S stands for something else. I forgot because of the amnesia. Well, amnesia to remember. That was horrible. I, I thought it was funny. Never say anything like that again. Okay. Oh, the S stands for shrinking. So we've been shrunk down? Yes, that should help us figure out where we are. Think, what has two connecting hallways that lead to a drop-off that's super small? I can look it up on my phone. Oh shit, it's dead. Is there an outlet around here? Uh... Wait! Oh shit, we're in an outlet! My least favorite piece of advice is if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Imagine if everybody did that, it would be like... Why does this house smell like gas? Never mind. Oh my god. 911, what's your emergency? My, my neighbor's house! What's wrong with it? Nothing. It looks amazing. Great, you should go tell him that. Uh, I'm afraid he can't be reached at the moment. Oh, why is that? He's on my roof. Ah, I see. Will you enjoy your evening? Yeah, you too. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, there's a very creative driver going down this road. How so? He's driving on the wrong side. Wow, truly innovative. This guy's going somewhere. Yeah, towards that building, I think. You're not being a good teacher. You're just giving everyone the answers to the true or false questions. Okay, first, not true. Second, true. Third, true. Fourth, not true. Here's a bonus joke. This is my impression of someone warning their friend that they're in a landmine field while someone dismantles and steals their front steps. Take one more step and you're dead. Third one. Take one more step and you're dead! Here's another bonus joke. Jokes about disappearing ink. Here's another bonus joke. This is my impression of someone who doesn't know when to stop. Here's another bonus joke. Okay, fuck you, no more bonus jokes. I'm here. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm looking outside, it's just an empty road. That's me. What? I am the road. Y you're, you're not the road, you're, you're Sarah. Yeah, Sarah Street, which is the main road. This doesn't make any sense, I'm going on a date with the road. Yes. Why do you want me? Because when you, you turn on me, you turn me on, you know what I mean? No. Whatever, so where do you want to go? There's this nice Chinese place down you. Can you drive? No, my car broke down after I hit a pothole. Sorry, I have acne. It's fine, I'll just get a cab. All right, bring protection. What? For when you're on me. Do you mean a condom or a seatbelt? Is this the baby name suggestion line? Sure is. Hi, I'm Colin, and I'm Colin to suggest the name Colin. Hello, Colin. Thanks for Colin. We like the name Colin, but first we have to call Lynn. Lynn is my sister, and we want to make sure she likes the name Colin. I'll be right back with you, Colin, once I'm done calling Lynn. Hi. Who's Colin? Me. But who is this? I'm Colin. Remember I called in? This is just the name Colin, and then you had to call in? Oh, yeah. So what did she think? She didn't like it. Why not? Well, we have a daughter. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, I'm Colin. You said that. When she gets older. Wait, what? I just put the heat on like you asked. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Why are you opening the window if I just put hey, the heat hey, on? Hey, hey, mind your business, man. I'm just doing me. God, Pick like, one, either the window or the heat. Why can't it be both? It creates the perfect temperature in this room oh, that I can see and relax. Like, it no. makes fucking... Hey, leave it open! Leave it open! I'm so ready to get my hair done. Girl, that's why I booked me a appointment for you next week. You get your next week? Yeah. What you doing to it? I was thinking about going dark red. Red? Girl, red on you would not be cute. Girl, like, how what would you, you mean know? by red, though? Like... Straight red. Straight red? Like, you gonna just... Ugh. On you, though? I don't know. I feel like you would be more cute and, like, black. Bone straight black. But that's up to... That's on you. Girl. Okay. But yeah, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, so... Yeah. Whew. Hey, girl. What you looking at me like that for? Girl, because your hair. My hair. What about it? Ain't no way you went and got the same oh hairstyle I said I was getting. You swear you're the only one that can wear red hair. Like, what? When did you ever talk about red hair? Yesterday when you said it wouldn't look good on me. I said it wouldn't look cute on you. I, if I did say that, I said on you. I never said it wouldn't look cute on me. Like, what? I told y'all I was getting my hair done yesterday. So what's the problem? But why copy somebody's hairstyle when you just said it was ugly? Like, what? We can't both wear red? It's the, what's the big deal? 
So what you wearing to that girl dinner tomorrow? Because I have no idea what I want to wear. Like what color? Honestly, I was just going to wear a light pink you sweater. Gonna, you going to wear a pink sweater to a dinner? Girl, I don't know. I just feel like pink is not your color. Like you should wear like black, brown, tan. Like I feel like you should stick to the nude colors. I mean, I don't know yet. What you going to wear? What am I going to wear? Um, I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out. But when I do, I'll probably just be like a t-shirt and jeans. I don't know. Nothing too serious. I'm sorry I'm late, y'all. Uh, Happy birthday, girl. I got you a gift in the car. Thank you. Why is you looking at me like that? Because why are you wearing a pink sweater? Girl, what you talking about? I just threw this on. Girl, you're trying to be like me so bad. I'm trying to be like you. How am I trying to be like you? I told you I was wearing pink yesterday. When did I? When did you ever say anything about wearing pink to the dinner? Yesterday. Girl, <laughs> I can't. You swear, like, you do this every single time, though. Girl, you do this every single time. So you told me you was wearing a pink sweater to the dinner? Girl, yes. Well, if you did, what's the problem? Like, why we can't both match? Girl, guess what? What? I gotta start wearing glasses. You gotta start wearing glasses? What they look like? They like clear as pinkish. Clear? Girl, I feel bad for you. Your face don't fit glasses. Like, I don't know. It's just too... I don't know. I just can't see you in glasses. But I mean, that sucks for you, though. Girl, let me tell you. What? Girl, I ain't no way. Why are you looking at me like that? Because your glasses. My glasses. What about them? You went and got the same pair as me. So you mean to tell me I went and got the same glasses that you was going to get? Girl, yes. Girl, you try so hard. These are my prescription glasses. I've been having these. I just now started to wear them. Girl, why is you lying? You never had to wear glasses before. I don't understand. If you got the glasses, I got the glasses. Cool. Who cares? It's not that big of a deal. It's the point that you talk stuff about me, then turn around and okay. wear it. You say I criticize you, then turn around and wear it. I be having this stuff already. Just because I say it don't look good on you, don't have nothing to do with me. Like, you need to calm down. You swear you're that girl. Like, somebody want to be you. I'm starving. Do y'all have anything to eat at y'all house? Girl, I'm so sorry, but we only got noodles right now. Noodles? I don't eat that. I'm used to, like, steak, shrimp, mashed potatoes, scallops. Like noodles y'all your parents really sit there and make you eat noodles we just kind of struggling right now i'm gonna just wait till i get home those rick owens because they're cute nah these converse. converse i can't do converse they too low budget for me yeah no only designer over here baby but I mean, they look good on you, but like for somebody like me, Converse, nah, they're just not for me. Hey, I just want to let you know, I don't have a bed right now. You don't got no bed. You could have said that before I came over here because I don't do the land on the ground. Well, girl, we can make a pallet on the floor together. A pallet? You think somebody like me finna lay on the pallet? I love you and all, but I'm gonna have to tell my mom to pick me up because I'm not that rotted up. I can't lay on no pallet with you. No. Girl, are you for real? I thought we was gonna be laying in the bed, a Lisa air mattress. No, girl. I forgot my perfume. Do you have perfume? You do? Oh, yeah, here. Oh, let me see. Body fantasies. Girl, I don't do this. I don't do bath and body works. You don't got no Versace, no Jimmy Choo. Nah, that's all I can afford right now. This is cheap, and I can't put this on my skin. Like, this is going to break me out. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Like, maybe for your type of skin. But for me, this is too cheap. I don't do that. Thank you. Where'd you get that from? That's real cute. Girl from Walmart. Walmart? You shop at Walmart? Girl, yeah. Girl, I would never be dead seeing, caught, breathing, looking in the Walmart clothing section. No. If it's not the Galleria, um, any designer, I'm not doing that. I don't know how girls will shop at Walmart, but me personally, I could never. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my friend. Happy birthday to you, girl. Happy birthday, dear. Wait, so only she get cake or do everybody get cake? Because I get she the birthday girl, but we still like important too. So is there a way you can bring me like a little piece of cake also with a candle on it? It has to be your birthday. Oh, it got to be my birthday? Well, it, I'll just pay the extra for it, but just like put the candle and stuff on it and put happy birthday. I'll have it right Thank off for you. you. Girl, why you what? need a whole cake? I, I, can't, I can't have no cake. But happy birthday on it. So what colors are you doing? Like, what colors is everybody supposed to be wearing? Um, Pink for y'all. Pink tomorrow? So we're going to be wearing pink. You're going to be wearing red. Yeah. Okay. All right. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? Girl, I said to wear pink. I'm supposed to be wearing pink? Yeah, I know, but like, I don't understand why only you can wear red. So I was like, maybe I should wear red with her. Girl, it's a it's theme. A I mean, it's never that deep. Like, it's just me and you wearing red. What's the matter? It's not your birthday. You'll be okay. We get it's your birthday, but I can wear red. I can wear what I want. So, after we leave dinner, what we going to do? Like, what you want to do? I was thinking about riding scooters. Ride scooters? No. We're not doing that. Girl, what? I mean, I get it's your birthday, but, like, do y'all want to go ride scooters? Girl, yeah, yeah I'm down It's her birthday. Okay, well, y'all ride scooters. I'm going to probably go to the hookah lounge because I don't feel like that's fun. Hey, did you bring a gift or no? Um, did I bring a gift? I mean, everybody else got you something, so I didn't really see the point of, like, giving you a gift. Like, you know I love you, you know we cool, but spending my money, girl, I get. Like, trust me, I get it's your birthday, but I'm not spending my money on you. Girl, what? Like, I'm here. That's all that should matter in my presence. My presence, not my presence. But, um, yeah, like, girl, it's your birthday. You're not Nicki Minaj, you're not Beyonce. Chill. Hey girl, come on, we finna take pictures. We finna take pictures? Okay, well let me run to the car and get my flowers out the car so I can hold them in my pictures. Girl, only she holding flowers. I can't hold flowers? So you mean to tell me about a crown and flowers for no reason? I mean, why would you buy it? Okay, well I'm just not be in a picture then. Because you can't hold flowers? Well, I can't hold flowers. And wear a crown. Where do you say you're going to go? I'm going to go get my nails done with my dad. You can go get your nails done with your dad. Yeah. You don't think that's kind of like weird that you and your dad are that close? Why would it be weird? He's I mean, really I'm just my saying, dad. Like, I can never know. But y'all have fun. You say your dad finna send you money to eat? Yeah, he is. Girl, your dad is not your man. Why is he sending you money to eat? Girl, he's my father. Like, I mean, what? I know he's your dad, but you don't think that's like a little weird? No. Okay, just ask him. Girl, why you got them shorts on? You can wear that around your dad? Yes, what's wrong with them? I could never. Around my uncle's my dad, I'm wearing sweatpants. Like, no, I'm not walking around in those shorts around my dad. Like, what? You finna go on a date? With who? <laughs> Girl, my dad. Your dad? Yes. Y'all go on dad and daughter dates? Yeah, Girl, why? I thought that's something you just do with your man, like dad and daughter dates. It don't be weird or awkward for you. No, why would it be awkward? I mean, I'm just saying, like, that's kind of weird to me. But, okay. You started your period? Yes, I got bro. some pads and tampons if you need some. No, it's okay. My dad finna give me some. Your dad finna get you some pads from the store? Yeah, why? What? That's not a thing that dad's supposed to do. Girl, what? Why is he going to get you pads from the store? Y'all a little too close for me. Like, I don't know. You and your dad give me, like, 
weird vibes like what okay oh my god is that ring new yeah it's so pretty where'd you get it from girl my dad bought me this your dad bought you a ring that's not something that dad's supposed to do why not so you wear that ring every day yes every single day what so he got you a ring and you don't see nothing wrong with that no he's my dad okay. bro okay i'm just saying i i could never wearing a ring on my finger every day that that my dad got me no <sighs> you say your dad just bought you a new car girl you're such a daddy's girl like that man is not your man you ask your dad for literally everything like a phone jewelry perfume not a car you make your dad do every single thing like you was you would really think that was your husband my husband because i have a bond like, with my the dad bond that y'all have is literally odd like i could never do that that's so weird i mean i'm happy you got a new car though hey girl hey girl hey y'all what up what up what up anyways did you ever get your your stuff down there checked because i know you had told me last week you was itching and burning from doing that one night stand with that dude that you didn't even know Shh, girl why are you saying it out loud what? they can't hear me i can hear nah, me we can we can hear <laughs> well shoot how was i supposed to know that they was gonna know you was itching and burning down there i'm just saying you still saying it okay my bad i'm just saying i don't be itching and burning i don't she do girl girl what another honey bun this is her fifth honey bun of the day why are you telling them though like, i'd be trying to tell her she gotta slow down all them cars because like y'all handsome men y'all not gonna want nobody like that like y'all want somebody snatched and petite and bbl in and you know but like i'll be trying to tell her ain't nobody gonna want you if you walk around looking like a roly-poly girl stop showing off you fake girl how is that fake i'm just saying like but you're saying i'm trying to be a good friend and keep at that. you healthy like just them being there don't you don't ever act like this you're how am off. i showing off i'm just saying if they was here or not i would have been said something i'm just saying me personally i'm never gonna sit and eat a whole box of honey buns alone but like i say if you want to be single i can handle them hey what's your friend name over there you about to ask her for her number yeah boy let me tell you now you do not want her my friend got too much going on she got baby daddy drama she not healed she don't cook she don't like to work out girl why are you sitting there girl, saying all that stuff about me i'm just let's be honest i'm just telling you i'm telling him how it is you're not healed yet baby and come on this is a fine young man that got his life going together don't mess that up for him how can i mess his life up she got kids like you don't want nobody like that and then and you still going, I mean, bro? I if, if that if he want to talk to you, I can't stop that man from talking to you. I'm just saying. You need somebody that's single, cute, fun like me. I like to go out. I like to hang. I like to party. You don't want nobody like that. And why would he want somebody like you? No, I'm not. I didn't mean to say me. I'm just saying, like, you know what? <laughs> y'all do you. Y'all do y'all. <laughs> Never mind. You get, you get my friend number. I'm going to let you learn for yourself. Girl, I love your whole entire life so much. Oh, thank you, You girl. say you love her whole life? Yes. Girl, I don't know why. She don't got no money. Her do be cheating Girl, why her. you always hating on me? Um, her life is not nothing to love. Girl, you're so weird. Girl, I'm not, I'm just saying, like, let's be honest. Your life is not nothing to love. You know that. Like. I guess. But, I mean, if you love her life, you love her life. Girl, them shoes are so cute on you. Oh, thank you. You like her shoes? Yeah, they're cute. The shoes that I gave her? Girl, why you gotta tell everybody that? Girl, I'm just saying, they. I did give them to you, so it's like, she should be saying she like my shoes. Not yours, because they're not yours. So. Girl, your hair is so cute. Who did it? Girl, me. You like her hair? Are you, for yeah, real? you trying to be funny with her? I'm so for real. Girl, there's no way you like that girl hair. Like, 
what no, that's supposed to mean. No, your hair is cute, but like, it's not really all that just to be compliment her though. Like, it's the Amazon wig. You you be around her. You know she wear this wig every other day. It's not I mean, new. but she still look cute though. Girl, you stay I mean, talking stuff. I'm just stuff. saying like, it's cute, but let's not let's not make her be on Beyonce, Nicki Minaj's pedestal. Like, let's bring it down. She look cute, but don't do all that. Girl, I heard you singing, and you can sing so good. Aww, you said she you. sing good? Yeah. Girl, if you think she sing good, then wait till you hear me. Girl, you hate when she get a compliment. I'm just saying, I've been doing choir since fourth grade. I'm a professional. Talk. Let's have conversations in the dark. Word is sleeping, I'm awake with you. Girl, you're giving try I'm hard saying, vibes. like... Let's let's give the hype where it's needed. She can sing, but girl, you had you didn't haven't heard me yet. Girl, you and your boyfriend is so so cute. I know you did not just say her and her boyfriend is cute. I did. What's the problem? <laughs> he took her to Cheddar's on Valentine's Day. Cute. Where? Girl, why are you always talking about girl, me and my man? Let's be honest. Like you, y'all not relationship goes behind the scenes. Like. He bought you Ugg slides. And your boyfriend got you nothing. So what's wrong with it? I mean, you don't think nothing wrong with it? No. Well, then, I guess they're cute. Your boyfriend and you are so cute. Where are you finna go? You said where I'm finna go? I'm finna go to the tattoo shop. You don't got no tattoos at 18? Girl, you need to grow up. Honestly, bro, why are you just sitting there? No, I'm just like amazed, like how you're so innocent. Because, like, I'm telling you, I literally had my first kiss at like two. Two? What? It's a kiss, like, it's not that big of a deal. Girl, yes. Me and my boyfriend do everything in the book. You've been with that dude for two months and you haven't gave him none yet. <laughs> you couldn't be my girlfriend. Girl. I gave it up to my boyfriend after like a week. I mean, like, once you get grown, you realize it's really not that deep. You say you're finna go to the zoo? I don't, I mean, it's the zoo cool and all, but you don't wanna do nothing like more grown for your birthday, like the club, the hookah lounge. You don't wanna go. What'd you say? That I never smoked in my life. You never smoked in your life? No. Girl. I'm 25 and I've been smoking since I was eight years old. Eight is crazy. You too innocent for me. Like, I don't know about this because what? Like, I mean, it, I guess it's cool to not smoke, but like, you don't smoke at all though. Like, you don't drink, you don't smoke, girl, you're boring. What do you do for fun? Your mama don't let your boyfriend stay at your house? Girl, my boyfriend been staying over at my house since I was in middle school. Like, I mean, I know you're only like 16, but you're 16, though. Like, he can't even, like, sleep over for, like, three days. But, yeah, so, dude said the party ended at 11, so you coming or? No, I can't. I gotta be home at 12. You got a curfew. Oh my god, bro. I was literally like seven years old walking the streets into like two in the morning. Having a curfew at 12 o'clock at 18 is crazy. You say, you do I have a pad? Girl, I don't wear pads. I started wearing tampons when I was like eight years old. <laughs> what? Walk around in a diaper. Oh, I'm gonna go. You coming? Let me just ask my mama real quick. You gotta ask your mom for permission? Yes. Having to ask your mom for permission at 16 is crazy. Girl, I was leaving the house at like 10 years old. Just leaving. She'll be okay. But I mean, if you don't wanna hear my mouth, sure. But me personally, I don't tell my mom where I'm going. I'm grown. You got your hair done? Yeah, why? Oh, you are so annoying. Like, it's like you knew my boyfriend was finna come over here or something. Girl, Now what? I gotta go do my hair, put my makeup on, put my clothes on, because it's like you trying to get his attention. Like, 
Girl, I just wanted my hair done for school. Okay, you, you just wanted your hair done. Sure. Like, what? It just seems like every time you, you think my man for to come over, you do your hair. Or you do something to make yourself look good. Like, girl, he don't want you. Trust me, baby. I don't want him. He's all mine. He do not want you. Girl, bye. What's that smell? A new perfume. New perfume. <sighs> Let me go put my perfume on because you're not going to be sitting here smelling like cherry blossoms and vanilla starbursts around my man. Girl, don't nobody be worried about him. No. You 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 be knowing he finna come. He come over here every other day, baby. You could have waited to put your perfume on, but okay. Yeah, I was gonna tell my man to come over here, but I told him I'm just gonna go to his house because it seemed like you be winning him. Like when he come over, you come out the room, you going in the pantry getting the snack, like you walking around. Just looking how you looking, like, I know he fine, but girl, you do too much. I feel like you just be wanting his attention, like, but like, you, if you want to keep trying, you keep trying, but he don't want you. Hey, do y'all want some water? He fine. We good. I'm gonna, we can, we gonna share this. Me and him gonna share this. You can make yourself some water. Girl, okay. Yeah. He all right. Thank you, my love. We gonna share this. Oh, are you going to college or something? Because I've been seeing you applying to schools. Oh yeah, I'm going. You are? How are you gonna go to college? Girl, my parents paying for it. Your parents are paying for you. Your parents are literally paying for you to go to college? Yes. Girl, you're, you're like 18, 19. You're a grown woman. There is no reason your parents should be paying for you to go to college. Girl, it's a normal thing that parents do. How is that normal? My parents not paying for me to go to college. If I want to go to college, I have to literally grind and do it myself. Okay, You're just you. spoiled. I'm really but not. I mean, have fun at your preppy little school with your rich friends and your rich parents. Hey, girl. Hey, gr girl. Girl. You got your hair done again. You get your hair done literally every other week. Who pays for that? Oh, girl, my mama. Your mom? Why is she paying for you to get your hair done? You can't pay for yourself? Don't you work? I mean, yeah, but it's for what I want to buy. So your money goes to whatever you want and she pays for you to get your hair done? Yeah. That's weird and you're spoiled. And you're kind of wrong for that because why are you even letting your mom pay for you to get your hair done? Tell her no. My mom, my parents would never, like, it's giving, you're so spoon-fed, and it makes me mad. Like, it literally enrages me. But, I mean, as long as you're happy, as long as your parents are okay with doing it. Guess what, girl? What? My dad literally bought me a car. whoop de woo Daddy's girl got her new car. Why would I care? Why would you not? I mean... I'm not jealous. I just don't understand on why your parents constantly keep buying you things that you can buy yourself. Like, why is that? Why is your dad going all the way out his way to get you a car? He's my dad. Like I said, it's not normal. My parents make me literally get it out the mud. There's no reason for you to have a new 2023 car in your driveway at 16 years old. Girl, you're that mad. Nobody's jealous of you. It's just the fact that you're spoon fed you and you're going to grow up to be a brat and nobody's going to want to be your friend. Let's be honest. You need to tell your parents to stop doing all that. Girl, you must be going through something. 